enough hearts for them. Papa, I am still very tired from yesterday's work. Even as I am standing here, I'm feeling sleepy. I'm just sweeping this compound because it is what every maiden must do. After this, I'm going back to sleep again. Is there a talk about here? Or were you directing that to me? Oh no. Please no. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you don't want to gather those files for me. No, no, Papa. I, I will gather it all. I'm only saying that uh, after sleeping and resting, uh -huh, I, I will not go and get them for you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired. Let me go out there, gather those halves, and then come back here and wait for you and that's for a week. That's not what I'm saying. No. What I'm saying is that I, I will get it, but when I'm, when I wake up again. Mama, Mama, we are ready to go. Mama, get You have to eat now. You have to eat before you go. Mama, we have a lot of work to do. Today. It's better we go early now so we can finish early and come back. The earlier, the better, you know. But the best thing for you to do is to eat first before you leave for work. If you don't eat when you get to the farm, you'll be lazy. You won't have the energy to work. But once you eat, uh, -uh uh, and you'll be able to do everything now. You'll have so much energy and you'll be strong. Brother, I think Mama is right. So we need to eat before we go and do this kind of work. I wasn't expecting any other thing from you. You will support now. Is it not food? No, sit down and eat. Sit down and eat and then I'll go to work. You come and join me there later. But don't expect any reasonable share from the money. Nah, but why are you always treating this boy like this? Why? Mama, he's not a child now. How can a full grown, healthy young man like this be thinking of food in the morning? Brother, Ulsa does not know who is young or old. It's best to eat in the morning before you go and work. And and this kind of uh, hectic work. Yeah. You have heard what your brother said. Ulsa, boy, I don't have money in this house to take care of any ailment. I won't call you now. What my Ulsa, my Ulsa, and Ulsa. So it's best that you people eat. Doctor. <laughs> Medical doctor now. Mama, the work we are going to do is not a fresh work. Uh, it's the one we started yesterday. So we'll finish it this morning and then we'll come and eat before we start a fresh work. No, my fair man. Eh? Go inside and carry that tube of yam near the kitchen door. Wow. If you get to the farm and you get hungry, roast it. Thank you, Mama. Uh -huh, you're welcome. What with oil? Is that oil? Yes. I'll tell me about oil. Mama, we are not going... Where oil here now? It's not our farm, Mom. Where will you roast it? You will find where to roast it. Uh -huh. We will look for where to roast that yam. As if you will not eat when it is all roasted. I don't mind. But if you bring back some of the yam, nay, I'm on my duo. Bye bye, no. Yolu. Anene. Papa. Are you sure of what you're saying? I am very sure. I am very sure of what I'm saying. I saw him with my eyes. That is why I, I, I decided to come and tell you first as my man. So that you can go and find out. You know what could be wrong this time around. Papa needs to go to the palace. To find out what is going on. Papa, you have to be fast. I am very sure it has nothing to do with the elders. Papa, uh -huh. this case that I'm talking about uh -huh. is elders' case. Uh -huh. In fact, if you have gray hair, it's your case. The case I'm talking about has everything to do with the elders. Papa, go to the palace and find out before it will be too late. Please, sir. Listen to me, Ale. Mm. Ale as long man. Listen to me very well. If you are looking for a way to avoid going to the farm today, you are a failure. You must go to that farm. Hey, Papa, if, if you look at me, uh -huh. I'm not working with energy. I have strength for farming. Farm is not my problem. Uh -huh. But what I saw in the eyes of Okuozo, the chief priest, uh -huh. what I saw in his head, 
And the way he was chanting, Papa, something terrible is happening in this village. You need to go and find out for safety. You are an idiot. If there's anything terrible in the palace, Igwe will send for us. Now, get inside the house and prepare for the fire. Papa, I almost killed Nduru and Ewe. I left it for this message. Papa, don't use it and play. Go to the palace. Ay, oh, Ewe and Nduru. Get inside the house. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Papa, Nduru and Ewe. Papa. Nine. Yes. Let's listen to him. You can stay back at home while I go to the farm with uh, Anene. By the time you find out what the message is all about, you can then join us at the farm. Azuga. Papa. Be fast about that water. Don't go about gallivanting and gossiping with your friends. You know you have a lot to do in the house. Papa, I don't waste time fetching water. And I don't gossip with Ifnaya. We're just friends, we don't gossip. You are your father. Don't do that friendship with your brother's stomach. Fetch your water, come back so you enter the kitchen. Mama, when last did you cook for your husband? Eh? Your mother has been cooking for me for the past 12 years, before you and your sister joined her. And she will still continue cooking after you might have gotten married. Papa, Look. let her continue cooking for me. Mama, cook for your husband. This is for better for us. Don't give me your, your work to me. Hey, Small pinta damo. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hey, I've been waiting for you. You didn't tell me that you won't uh, fetch water today. You should have got my line. I called you now. What time I called you? <laughs> you didn't call my line when I left for the market. Well, I left my phone at home to charge. Ah. Anyways, here we are. Here we are alone. Please, I have a lot to do today. Otam. Otam. You are not looking bright this morning. What is it? Onye pasugiwe. Eh? Mechi, how will I be happy? Eh? This is morning. We are bigger than this. I'm supposed to be hunting by now. Oh, and please try and give me some space. Oh, Tamu. Oh, Tamu. Oh, Tamu, you know this thing, you know. You know you are my lucky angel. Each time I spend time with you before going for hunting, I used to kill the biggest of animal. Makachi. Because stop lying. You never kill the biggest of animal. Just like a big goat. Hey, <laughs> uh, you know what? I know why you are angry. But you know what will happen? My family, eh, my water is going to eh? I will, I will bring a very big bush meat for you. Don't worry. Yeah? So that you look like a water for Eh? It was a feeling. I've known you. Oh, Tamo. Oh, Tamo. Taga Abago Kwanu Maanya. Oh, Taga Abago. Oh, Ta. Let me accompany you to the junction now. No, wait, wait, wait. Igwe, a maiden from your palace will poison your food. And once you eat the food, you will die. And which of these maidens has this evil intention of poisoning my father? Listen, uh, a pause. Uh, you know it yourself that we do not have inner eyes like you. That is why we rely on you for this kind of ministration. Who is this particular maiden that is planning this grievous crime against the king? The gods have delivered their message. They should be locked up. 
Mm. I don't think that is the best way to go about this, at least now. Father, they are planning to poison you. One of them, he said. And we don't know the particular one that is planning this. I feel the best thing for us to do is um, see all of them as if they are innocent until we are able to pin the very evil one that is planning the evil. If we torture them, they will speak the truth. That which the gods did not reveal should be kept secret. If they want you to know, they will reveal that to me. I shall take my leave. Ikenga, I think I have a way we can solve this problem once and for all. All the maidens in this palace should be sent out immediately. And I want to assist on that. Yes, Father. Just look at your ugly faces. So you want to kill my father and make me an orphan? No. Huh? No. Now, listen to me. Go into your chambers, pick whatever you have there, and leave this palace. Oh my God. Please shut up! Do you want to slap you before you obey me? Oh you have 30 seconds, so you see you don't have time. Isaka. My prince. See to this. Hello. Hey, it's quiet. Says. Close your mouth. Oh, yeah. Go in and pack your things. Also, if Naya, if Naya, if Naya, What do you like disturbing me? Hmm? Look at you. If I say you were lazy now, you will argue it. How can you be sleeping by this time of day? Did you wake me up to sweep the compound? Hmm. You woke up, did some work, you went back to bed. What is even wrong with you? Azuka, you are my problem. Eh? You're my problem. Leave me alone. What is it? Go stay go and fetch your time with you every day. Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. Eh? Eh, hey, you left told me that we're no longer friends now. I was just gone. I will not even come and call you again. Just, just say we're no longer best friends. I will go. Uh, I'm sorry. Calm down. That's not what I mean. What do you mean? See, uh, Azuka, I worked late night with my father. I am very, very tired. Eh? I, I, I woke up this morning and used the small strength I have to, 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 to do the little chores I can do. And now my father insists that I must fetch firewood for him. And you are here now saying that we should go and fetch water. People will kill me. Me, I'm tired though. Let me even ask you. What does your father do with firewood? I mean, who still uses that these days? Uh -huh. That one. Just forget that man. See, my father will never use gas or stove. He says that it is not good for the herbs. <laughs> says that uh, yeah. uh, herbs should be prepared naturally. That's how he says it. What do I even know? Uh, but even like that, mm. he says the same way now. If I go to fetch water, you go this way to fetch firewood. So let's go together. I, I, I'm, I'm talking left, you're talking right. Don't, 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 don't you know the meaning of I'm tired? Uh -uh. <clears throat> ah. Yeah. Nah, good morning. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm fine. Have you? Welcome. Have you faced the firewood I asked you to face? Papa, I, 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 you, you forgot what I told you. Papa, I told you that I am tired now. Please, yeah, that I will, uh, I will help you, and uh, we'll get it later. Papa, what are you looking for? Did you misplace anything? Evena, sir, you want to know what I can do to you? No. Evena, before I go in there and come out, hey! Look at you. 
Cannot see them, you can only hear them. When you hear them, you follow the sound. <laughs> Bed. No. Church, Remma, come both of you. Papa, yes. Where are you going? Papa, I want to go and fetch water. I want to go and fetch water. Have I not told you not to do anything in this house? I've told you severally. Just be on your own. Take care of your body. That is all. Church, go and fetch water. Take this in and go inside and take care of yourself. I, I want you to be, 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 become irresistible, tempting to the eyes of the prince of this kingdom. So, you do nothing else than take care of your body alone. Papa, I don't like the way you're stressing me in this house. Oh, Chichi, I am not stressing you in this house. It is for your own good. Because finally, you will be the one to enjoy the whole thing. By the time she gets married to the prince, she becomes the queen of this kingdom. And you'll be so proud of yourself and so proud of your sister. So. Yes. Papa. Oh, Papa, this is wrong. Other maidens in this kingdom are in their house doing the family chores. You won't allow me to do anything. Oh, Rema, you're the one getting it wrong. Yeah, because you are not other maidens in this kingdom. You are Urem, a special maiden, made right from her mother's womb to get married to the prince of this kingdom. You are the future queen of our kingdom. Papa, the prince you're talking about, he's in love with someone. She's even betrothed to him. Why are no. you punishing me for a prize I may never claim? It doesn't really matter. I am not punishing you. Of course, I can't punish you. I am doing these things for your own good. Do you understand? Listen, the prince might fall in love with as many women as, but when it comes to marriage, you are the one he must choose. How do you expect me to live with a man who does not love me? The way you sound, you are a woman. A woman has her way of penetrating the heart of a man. Never mind, with time, you will see him falling in love with you. Nothing good comes easy. Uh, by the time you become the queen, become successful, you won't remember all this effort I'm making for your own good. Father, please listen to me. Listen, the king. I am going to be very straight with you on this. I will not take the risk of employing another palace maiden. I will not. Oh, so, um, how do we eat? Yigenga, had it been you listened to me and you got married all this while I was dropping it into your head, 
We should really not be talking about who will prepare what we are going to eat so as to avert the prophecy. Should we? Father, you are talking as if I refused to get married. I only asked for the time, uh, you know, to get myself prepared physically, spiritually, and otherwise, mentally. So because we, have, we are waiting for you to be prepared, we are going to die of hunger? What are you talking about? Ikenga, the very first woman that was betrothed to you is ready to be married. Why are you dragging your feet? Father, this predicament is not good enough to pressure me into marrying someone I do not have feelings for. I will marry the one I love, please. So because of whatever you call love, we are going to die of hunger, right? No. The palace guys can cook for us. You know, sometimes when you speak, I start wondering if you understand the custom of this land at all. Have you ever heard it anywhere that the palace guard can cook for the king? Why are you saying it? You know, why are you suggesting that? But father, this is 21st century. And anybody can be a good cook. Well, anybody can be a good cook and they can be cooking for anybody. But I need you to understand there are only two sets of people who are qualified to cook for the king in this kingdom. Number one. A woman who is married into the palace or a maid who has been led into an oath to be at the cup of the king. Apart from these two women, no other person can cook for the king. So based on that, you can tell When are you getting married? Luzana is so hardworking and cute at the same time. Ah! Wait, 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 wait. What is that one? Which one is? Luzana is so hardworking and cute at the same time. What is that? Please, let me warn you on time. Eh? Remove your eyes from Lutana. You, you can have his brother, uh, Ibebike. I don't care. And, and, and don't forget that you are betrothed to the prince. Remove your eyes from men. Yeah, thank the gods that you know I'm betrothed to the prince. So I don't have time for what you're insinuating. You have time. Stop doing it. And then I say fine. And then I say, uh, say hardworking. Stop doing that. I don't want trouble. I don't want. I love him. Ah. Yes. Ah. Somebody that has somebody that is looking at you. Ah, you will not remove your eyes. Instead, like, let me go to admire him alone. I don't want. No. Oh, what, the, what is the thing admiring son that is hardworking? Everything is there. Don't do it. It's not your fault. I mean, there's nothing you could have done. I could have told them that you are a good maiden. Eh? I could have told them that other maidens are suspect and not you. See, if you had done that, they would have every reason to believe we have a hand in the plot. My love, how are you sure about that useless prophecy? Eh? Are you sure it is not that useless Okwosa? Who is cooking up this whole rubbish for us to feel his activeness in this village? No, I don't think so. Okwosa cannot come up with such prophecy. See, if you ask me, I think someone wants to poison the king. And, and, and you believe that could be a maiden in the palace? I, that I don't know, but it... Eh? <laughs> eh? Isaka, so you want to take my sister in the bush? Uh -uh. I've been telling my father that something is terribly wrong in this kingdom. But he will never believe me. So you... you, you... Hey, hey, hey. Business. This girl no going to inside though. Huh? Isaka, so it has gotten to the level of you taking my sister to the bush. Huh? You want to take her here? You will, you will, you You are disgraced. So I have... Hey, 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 hey. What will I do to this? Okay. Is it not better I use this color to finish your mouth? You just respect yourself. Be good. If you call my name again. If you call my name... Don't worry. Let me go and tell my father at once. Okay. Um, Isaka, I need to start going now before he goes and tell my father I'm here with you. So, my love, when am I going to see him? She can always come to my father's house. Yeah. But I have to are, go now. Are, are you not going to pick me? You're going to... <laughs> You're not kissing me. I have to go now. Hey. I don't 
just like that, you see. And he's always sneaking up on me because he don't have any proof. Suspecting someone else is a big allegation. You should be sure of yourself, oh. Eh, me for my. I'm not just comfortable with that guy, Siaka. I think he's up to something. Yes, and as for Ngozi, I only get her involved because of the prophecy. Because I know that you and I are clean. Therefore, is it Ngozi? Yes. What do you think Siaka is up to? Mm, nothing in particular. Just that I don't feel he's loyal to the kingdom. <laughs> Stop exaggerating on people's behavior. You don't have any evidence. Therefore, speak no such thing. Secondly, Ngozi and Isia Kaditi, long before we started working in this palace. Be sure of what you say. Okay, oh. If he says so, I will draw out my statements. But I won't be surprised if what I said suffice to be true to one day. Hmm? Till that day. Okay, let me go to my house. Okay. Papa, see Papa, I was telling you, and you do not believe me. Look at it now. Oh my God! Hey, Papa, why are you not at the farm? Huh? Papa, it is not about the farm. Then about what? It is about something serious. I told you that Okozo's visit this morning to the palace was not ordinary, but you do not believe me, Papa. You know, it's supposed to be Thomas on another. You do not believe me. But now look at it. The worst has happened. What is the worst that has happened? Papa. Hmm? Igwe has sacked all the palace medics. Oh, now he has sanctioned them operation. Go home. As I'm talking to you now, your daughter is included. So expect the coming back of Mwada. They have sacked your, your, your daughter from serving from the palace. Hi! Palace palliative! And Korais! No more from the palace! Hi! Papa! Papa! Listen to me. Eh? Listen to me. If I find out that what you have just told me is a lie, I will scan you alive. Now, on your way, go to the farm and remain there. Papa, you're not supposed to be 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 what happened? Papa, Mama, let's go inside. I'll tell you what happened. <laughs> I have not seen her. Despite my warnings, she still went about and start gallivanting with her friends? I am as confused as you are. What kind of child is this? Don't you have some water in the house? Make use of the, the one you have and, and prepare me something. In fact, I'm, I'm very, very hungry. Just, just try and do something. Um, 
just um, go to Itie Okoroji's house. Tell him we are done with the job. You should come and inspect the work and then pay us. Okay. But in the meantime, let me rush to Chinyere shop so I can get water. Okay. Huh? No you drink, she? Yes, yes. Get yeah, like two. <laughs> Be like, okay. Hey, how would I even give him the water when I don't have a cup? Hey, but after saying, I'll see him. I'll talk to him. I'll tell him how special he is. I'll tell him how sweet he is. I'll tell him how handsome, how cute, how he will be my world. And I'm like, kiss him. <laughs> and I. If you also let me, I'll do the other thing and then every other beautiful thing that I have to say with you. Oh, my baby. <laughs> I look into his eyes now, tell him how much I love him, how much I've been wanting to be with him, how much I like him, how much he's the best, how much he'll be my own. <laughs> like, real honey, real baby. <laughs> He will look at me back and say, eh, Azu baby, don't tell me you're shy. And I'll just smile sheepishly and I'll look at him and I'll smile. <laughs> oh, my old. And then I look straight to his eyes and tell him, I'm not shy, baby. I love you, baby. You're the best, baby. You're my wife, baby. And I'll love you forever, baby. No? <laughs> Your Majesty, the question is this. Are the gods not aware that the maidens in question are our daughters? Because this accusation on our daughters is a direct allegation on all the elders of insurgency against your throne and even you in person. Uh, with all due respect, you just imply that one of us, at least if not all of us, has the intention of killing you. No, you can't say that because the king never said so. He did not say anything of such. And he had to forehead in the nap. Make it one who forehead in the nap. It's not done. He is only being cautious. He is equally acting in accordance with the dictates, the directives of the gods. That is what happened. Oh no. Yes. With due respect, please. Let me bring something to your understanding. You Say it. God. Wisdom is not for sale. But those that crave for it beget it. That is why you do not understand and feel our pains. Because none of the maidens in question is your daughter. And what will this kingdom think about us? This doesn't show respect to us. 
It is a total humiliation from the Igwe. Listen. You can say whatever you like. You own your mouth, you can say anything with it. But the ways of the gods are not the ways of men. By the way, Ojuku is supposed to be part of this meeting. What is he? I, I spoke with him this morning. He said he's on his way. Uh, well, before we go into this Ojuku discussion, I want to counter what he said. There is no way you can present the argument that I have humiliated the men in council. I have not. If I do not have strong respect for the elders in council, then all those maidens would have been in detention up to now. Of course. Of course. It is extracted from the very one who is planning to poison me. But all of them are still free. I have not detained any of them. Is that not an indication that I have strong respect for the elders of the council? Can, can, you, can you imagine that? Can you imagine that? Greetings, great Ila of our land. Greetings. Ah, uh, greetings. Greetings. Isiaka. Yes. 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 Y
I will do anything that will not be in your favor. Now, what is this? Does it mean you are not seeing what is happening in the palace, that there is no lady remaining here? Since I lost my wife, I have not married another woman, and you are aware of this. So, under normal circumstances, the question begging for an answer is, who takes care of the things I eat? But, but you can equally employ the services of professionals whom I know can perfectly do that for you. When you sound that way, you know, we are beginning to wonder if you are ignorant of the tradition of this kingdom. Professional cooks or whatever you call them cannot prepare what the king will eat. And that is the main reason I am insisting your daughter who is betrothed should be here. Now you need to understand this. When I got your daughter betrothed to my son, my wife kicked against it vehemently. She favored the daughter of her mother, who she equally got betrothed to my son. And when they grew up eventually, my son started to like the daughter of her mother instead of liking your daughter. But I am the king, and I am in a position to know that uh, the daughter of Diono who should be the next queen of the kingdom. And that is why I am saying that she should move into the palace. Based on this information, you know, is, don't you think this is the best time for us to start working towards this very noble objective? Remember, is your father around? No, he went to the palace. Is there any problem? Um, no problem. Um, we are done with the work at the farm, so I want him to come and inspect it, you know, so oh, he can pay us. Okay. Um, why don't you come inside and wait for him? He will soon be back. Come inside. Um, I I don't think it's a good idea. I, I can wait here for him. And who says it's not a good idea? Come on, not today. Uh, not today. No, why do you think it's not even a good idea? Huh? I'm so tired. You know, I've been working on the farm. Uh, uh, come inside. Let's go inside. You mean that? Yes. Let's go. Come inside. What? Come inside. Oh my goodness, why are you pretending like this? Come on. Come Amechi, and don't like the way you stop me in the morning. Eh, hey, Uchecha, I'm sorry. Eh? But I must give you this very bush meat because I shot it with your picture in my heart. Of course, I know it will do justice in your hands. Eh? Look at it, it's very big. Very, very big. Oh. Thank you. Eh? Hey. Let me go. I still have a lot to do this morning. I'll see you later in the evening. Eh? Hey? You see me in the evening. Okay, let me look for something for you to wrap it. Okay. <laughs> Thank the girls that I met you here. I have been searching for your friend Ifunaya. As you can see, I'm here alone. You are here alone. Listen, her father told me that she left with you. Take me to wherever she is. Or do you want me to tell my prince that you are hiding his future wife from seeing him? I went to fetch water. If now I went to Ugweke to fetch firewood, we're not together. Ugweke? Yes. Take me to that place. Ah, my mother thinks what I'm in the house to do something. I cannot follow you to Ugweke to go with I'll carry my water. Let's go. Ugweke, is it people for it? Ah, Chileke. Ugolunka. Hey, I don't understand it. These boys will never come back home to eat the food that their mother cooked for them. Atonol, Lotanna, hard worker. As you can get on all, but at least allow your brother to come home and eat now. Get no DC cable. 
Is up to something. Ohozo's mm. prophecy is not enough reason for Igwe to send out the whole palace meeting. Mm -hmm. Mama, me, I believe it strongly in my heart that somebody in the palace is planning to poison the king. Ah. Yes. I heard you. What made you to say that? I, I, I said it because since I was young and now I am getting old, Okwazo's prophecy never fails. What we should be doing now is to calm down. Wadanyo Kenya, look down, down, and find out what the problem is. That's why the fact that you have always been a very stupid and foolish son, I think you have said something reasonable today. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the question. Giraffe. I will find out what exactly the problem is at the palace. Um Ungozi. Until I am able to ascertain that there is no longer danger at the palace. Huh? I don't want you to associate yourself with anybody from Bam. the palace. Bam. Bam. Papa, is that necessary? Very, very necessary. What I have just given to you is a warning, and so shall it be. Don't say I have not warned you. You know? Uh, Mama, did you hear what Papa just said? What has my relationship with Isiaka got to do with what is happening in the palace? Don't misunderstand your father. He did not say you will not get married to Isiaka. All he is saying is, stay away from anything or anyone that has to associate with the palace. Well, uh, uh, yes. Um, you see that thing Papa just said, I am warning you. I am turning it into a law. You must listen to your parents. I don't want to hear anything, Isiaka. Yes! Oh, Isiaka, you. Is it? I see. Man. And you, where do you think you're going to? To get more information. Yeah, information, because I am an information minister. 
My friend, will you come back here? Okay. My information is live. And as for you, no, it's Yaka. It's Yaka more. I will it's Yaka you. <laughs> yeah. My information. I said, I said, come back. Information is live. Mama, this is not fair. This is not fair. And you just keep quiet and let me. Yes! We can't continue like this. We need to put an end to this. Why are you going to be Why? You know I love you. You don't love me. You're only lusting after me. Huh? Besides, you're betrothed to the Prince Ikenga. I mean, how do you even present yourself to him? How do you look at him? Can the Prince swear he has not been seeing other girls? This is my life. I have every right to enjoy it until he decides to marry me. Please try to understand. You just let this. Please, I'm taking. I, I, I am warning you for the last time. Leave this place when my father comes. Come and collect your money. And what is happening here? Papa, is it not this fool? He came to look for you to collect his money. I told him you are not around. You should come back when you return to collect his money. He refused. Ibuke, what is it? Uh, Iche, I am my brother done with the work at the farm. Please come and inspect it so he can pay us. Oh, I see. Okay, never mind. I don't need to inspect. I don't need to inspect your work before paying you. You can leave. Go and get the chair. I have something to discuss with him. Okay, Papa. Marcy! 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 Come, come, come. What happened to Marcy? She was beaten by a snake. Hey, snake? Yes, yes, yes. No. Uh, bring her. Yeah. Hey! Goodbye! <laughs> I'll find someone to take care of this right now. Ah! Snake! Snake! Hey! Thank you, Master. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I will take care of her presently. Eh? Ah! Ah! What happened? Hey! What is this? Hey! Hey! Igwe shouldn't have sent you out without consulting his elders. Eh? Good lemu umumebunga. Nice. I told you before now, now I'm not comfortable with her in that palace. Men don't see her and sit for her hand in marriage. Now that she's out, who will go over there and come and sit for her hand in marriage? Mama, now that I'm here, eat me if you want. Okay, shut up. Shut up, boy. So I took you as a baby. She's never born, Mwaka. At your age, I was already married to your father. Hmm? Anu Gomdi, now that you are out, Men will see you and seek for your hand in marriage. Eh? I put a marking on a palace. This old guy back room. Now that you're out. What if I'm not ready for marriage? Okay, What if you're not ready? Are you a baby? At your age, I'm going to get I was married. Woman, what is troubling you? It's my concern now. Something must have triggered the way to send these ladies out of the palace without consulting his elders. Something is truly wrong somewhere. Eh? This prophecy of equals is beginning to look like truth to me. I'm not calling you now, Conan. No, nah, that is your own business. I can't help you get your own. Good, go, 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 shop. Back, wow. What do I pass it? Money here in the Hublan, that is your own. My own is for her to get married. And you know, this is my husband's house. Yeah, my banana. Yeah. Banana can marry again, yeah, yeah. That's a banana, get up, mama. Come on, again, yeah, yeah. Nine. Huh? Nine, talk to your daughter. Nine. Talk to your daughter. Yeah, my daughter. Yeah. Why 
Where is it now like this? Maz. Maz. What are they doing here? <clears throat> Prince the King demands your presence at the palace, Pigeon. Papa, what is happening with Lotana? Lotana, he actually he marched on a poisonous stone and uh, he's lost so much blood. So much blood. Papa, please, you have to take him to the hospital, please. No, don't worry about that. Eh? I will take care of it. It's nothing. I will take care of it. Eh? Let this thing boil and then I will <coughs> use it on him. But why will he risk his life to save mine? Why? My daughter, better go and rest. Eh? You need to rest properly so that you heal faster. Eh? Go and rest. Don't worry. Hmm? Everything is all right. Eh? My prince, your beloved was beaten by a snake, but someone saved her and brought her home. What? How did this happen? Um, my prince, when we got to her house, her father said he sent her to fetch firewood. And um, Isiaka went looking for her. Immediately, Rotana brought her home. This is crazy. If anything should happen to Ifunaya. I will question the gods of this land. No, my prince, she's fine. Just that one that brought her home is one at risk now. Are you sure she's fine? Yes, my prince, that's what the father said. Amade's house, the herbalist. My brother. Yes! If you don't go there now, eh? his leg is on fire. The next thing you will hear is. What the How did it happen? I don't know. Yes. 
since you refuse to cook, then go and look for your sister. Eh? Ne? It's again. From where to where will I look for her now? Please, oh. Me, I'm very, very tired. All I need now is just to rest. Biko. Ha. Let's go and look for her. Who is there? Who? <sighs> Has any demon possessed you? Huh? Mama, I'm sorry. A snake bit if I am. I have to go back to know how she's faring. Mama. If him, I will. Snake, Papa. Yes, Mama. Um, um, mama, please. Go and take care of her. Oh, so, 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 so. Oh, God bless you. Hey, Nave. Why are you looking at me like that? Me, I'm not cooking anything in this household. I'm not cooking anything. Mama, I'm not going to do it. Mama, oh. Mama, I go, I go, I go. Mama, Mama, I'm back and I'm very hungry. Is the food ready? There's no food in the house. Ah, Mama, why now? My sister refused to cook. She said she's not ready to cook anything today. Nchide? Nchide, why didn't you cook anything in this house? What is it? What happened? Oh! You even noticed me at where? Hey! Thank God, though. Well, I am not entering that kitchen today. Oh, my man. Which one says you are not entering please, that, please, that, okay. that kitchen today? What is wrong with it's you? Okay, it's okay. Don't worry, I'll go and cook. Mama, how can there be two grown-up girls in this house and they cannot cook anything? Eh? Why now? Eh? And how can a grown-up man like you go out every day for hunting and return empty-handed? Eh? Ma, Mama, leave me. Mama, leave me. Let me go. Mama, leave me now. Papa must it be today. Gente, it is not just today. It must be now. Do you understand? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mama, I know you are hungry. Mama, I am 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 hungry. I am hungry. Mama, I am hungry. Mama, I am hungry. Mama, I am hungry. Mama, I am hungry. Almost the whole of my life I have spent using, but preparing for this same thing. Now the opportunity has come, and you are telling me it's unexpected. No. Let me finish the things I need to do now. Let me finish. You can't just tell me to start packing my things just like that. Hey, whatever you want to do, you can still do it later. When you feel like Melania, you can still do it. For now, go in. Can you? What happened to the time? It is for your good, my daughter. I'm back. Oh, you're welcome. Thank and what, what is it you're carrying? Bushmeat. I killed it. Oh, you killed bushmeat? Yes, Papa. Oh, that is good. Rema, naputa ano? Rema, ano kasi unaputa? Collect the bushmeat. Papa, let me help out this one for my head. What's it? What's it? Uh, 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 give the bushmeat to her. Let her go and prepare it for the king and his son. No, if you can get your Oh, this will not happen. No, I didn't keep this meat for anybody. No, but it's not your meat. This is bush meat. Don't be wicked. Don't just be wicked. You have to support your sister. Let her succeed. Get what she is looking for. During your own time, she will support you. Don't, don't be wicked, please. Papa. The wickedness will start from this meat. Nobody will touch my meat though. Your meat, that's what your meat. You are still calling it your meat. Oh. Obi Ojo. Ojo Obi. Enemies of progress. Is he going to be okay? Of course he'll be okay. Hmm? I've given him everything that he needs uh, to uh, recover and be very strong and healthy. Hmm? Just let him rest. By the time he wakes up, he'll be okay. He'll be strong. Hmm? Even you, 
you need some rest. Stop being overly worried and disturbed. Hmm? Rest so you two will be strong, yeah? Leave him alone, let him sleep. Huh? Yes, I'm coming. I think the king is afraid of the prince. Getting any of us pregnant, that was the reason he lied against us and sent us out. Hey, mm. Ujide, mm. you have a point here. My daughter is not true. If we were earlier on, I was engulfed with anger. You went on no man. But now I think clearly. I'm mama, something is wrong somewhere. Mama, are you saying that one of us truly wanted to poison Igwe? Mm-mm. If Mama, that is not what Mama is trying to say. Mama is trying to say that the gods have more information that is hidden from the king and his councils. Hey! Mm. Cake is in my hand, Bunobi. How do you know what I had in mind? Yes, Mama. My father also thought so as well. And he said he would question the cause concerning the issue. Ne, whatever it is, I got free here. More personally, got free here. So bad luck. I'm him, man. I believe, as I'm very sure hey. that the ghost has more information. Yes. There is nothing more the gods are hiding. They have said it all. Eyes of the gods. Do you have an idea that what you did today can make our daughters remain single forever? For the men of this village, we take them to be evil. Your daughters will soon marry and go to their husband's houses. The truth of who wants to poison the king is not far. The message from the gods is for him to be careful of what he eats. You see exactly what I mean? You know something, but you are not saying it. And I am not leaving this place until you tell me exactly what I want to hear. If you are new, you are my very good friend. I wish I have more to tell you. I will. Hmm? I will. Just follow the instructions, eh? And when you're adding salt, add it bit by bit. Hmm? So I to give you a, a nice uh, taste. So just see how I wrote it here. Eh? Make sure you follow the instructions. So. Mm. <laughs> I hope you understand what I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just follow the instruction. You make a nice cook. Yes, she understands what you are telling her. The ones you taught her are okay. Let us go. Papa, I don't understand what I'm teaching her now. I said she has understood what you taught her. Let us go. I don't want the king to become terribly hungry. Let us go. But I can't wait. Greetings, you know. Uh, greetings, my dear. How are you? Fine, sir. Uh, where did you pack? I saw this, sir. Good. That'll be tapa. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ifunanya, I am here to take you to the palace. Igwe and Prince Ikenga are expecting you as soon as possible. Are you stupid or senseless? Ifunanya, I will not take any insult from you. I am only carrying out the instruction given to me by my king. Okay then, go and tell your prince what happened to me. And also tell him what happened to the man who saved my life. I am sorry. I cannot and I would not leave this place without going with you. Yeah, come on, carry me now. I am not going anywhere with you and that is fine now. Listen, you have to understand me. There is no way I will go back to that palace without going with you. Maz, please help me and talk to your daughter. Isiaka, go back to the palace and explain this situation to Ibu Ajebe and his son. 
Do you understand me? Mas, there is no way I will go back to that palace without her. I'd rather stay here. I'm not living here without this. Mas, what's going on here? My prince, my love, what happened to you? You may rise, my dear. Rise. <laughs> yeah, it is. Your Majesty. You should be very happy now, I guess. Of course. Uh, I am very happy. God. Yes, I am. Uh, please take her to the royal kitchen and I cut her every assistance she may need. Sorry. How can I honor the royal invitation when the man that saved my life is battling with his? Your father can take care of things. He did not save my father. Fumaya, do you even know whom you are trying to turn down? My father, the great king of this kingdom. Then tell your father, the king, that I was beaten by a snake and I cannot see him. My prince. My prince. Are, are you all right? I'm fine. My prince. What happened to my brother? My father said he stepped on a poisonous turn and he lost a lot of blood. Yes. So where were you when all this was happening? Uh, my prince, it all happened before I could get there. Oh my God. How do I tell my father that there will be no food in the palace today? My prince, family, speak. Speak. From the text message I received from other guards, the king has made another preparation. Your Majesty, honestly, what you just did is what you would have done long ago. <laughs> yes. You see, now that my daughter, my own daughter, has entered the palace as the first wife, she is going to make you happy. Mm -hmm. She is going to cook good food for you, for you to enjoy yourself, and also her husband to be the prince. Oh no, you know the tradition of this kingdom. You know why we are doing what we are doing. It's very simple. It is not in line with our tradition, but we are doing this simply to avert the prophecy. Uh -huh. Under normal circumstances, my son must not be with any maiden in this palace until the next Alfala festival, where he's expected to select one of the maidens as his wife. And in that very festival, he is going to be named the crown prince of Abu Geza kingdom. You know it yourself. That is true. <laughs> that is, uh, uh, as a matter of fact, we are saying the same thing, Your Majesty. We are saying the same thing, but differently. You see, your son would have made a terrible mistake. Yes. But, but the gods opened your eyes. <laughs> you saw it coming. And you corrected these things earlier. But because uh, 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 my daughter is the right choice. Otherwise, he would have made a mistake of going for a wrong choice. Well, oh no, I am uh, uh, not in the mood of going into this discussion you just opened now. And uh, that is because I am famished, if you know what that means. Oh. I have not uh, eaten anything since morning. And uh, on that note, I, I want to thank you for what you have done. And to equally let you know that I want to be left alone. Okay, I understand you do take care of yourself. You are not asking me to leave. I understand. No, no, no. I am not asking you to leave, but I want you, you know. It's all right. Thank you. My guest.
Father. This is not what we agreed. You came and sit down. Yes, I will agree with you that uh, this is not what we agreed. But you will equally agree with me that this is not contrary to our plan. Father, sincerely, I do not want that meeting in this palace. Ifunaya is the one I want. Ifunaya is the one he wants. And I'm going to ask you, Ikenga, where is Ifunaya as we speak? Well, um, unfortunately, she was bitten by a snake. Exactly my point. Now, can you say you know why she will be bitten by a snake in a time such as this? Uh, you don't know. Uh, can't you see that it is possible there is something the gods are planning? Listen, Ikenga, you may forget everything. But do not ever forget that this you remember we are talking about is betrothed to you. I wouldn't know why you are resisting her with everything you've got. But you need to understand that she is the one that is most suited to be a queen in this kingdom. Uh, you may not like her, but I need you to understand something. That uh, Uremba is the daughter of the Yolo. And uh, she is not only the one who is in this palace at the moment, but she is equally the one already saddled with the responsibility of preparing the things we are going to be eating. It's okay. No problem. But please, I want you to note that I will never and cannot eat whatever she prepares. I will know how to handle myself. Well, I am not going to ask you to eat what you don't want to eat. But I am going to let you know you are a prince. And there is no way you are going to bring this abomination upon yourself by eating what you are not supposed to eat. Ikenga, you are a prince. And if you should go on and expose yourself by eating abominable things, I will not be there to defend you when it happens. The choice is yours. Father, may I leave, please? Um, thank you. Papa, let me help. Doctor. Mm. Please. Oh. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He'll be fine. Huh? Allow him to rest. I will prepare the other one. Eh? When he wakes up, I will give it to him. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Uh -huh. um, if my father comes back with good news, I'll tell you. Your father <laughs> will never come back with any good information. What's it, baby? Anya, where are you coming from? Forget about where I'm coming from. Pay attention to the latest news that I'm about to deliver to you. And what is the latest gist? Eh, who am I? He's in the palace. Cooking food. For Igwe, His Royal Majesty. Eh? <laughs> yes. Which Urema? Urema, I am talking about is uh, Mazo Koronji's first daughter. Yay! The same Urema that I know very well. That cannot be able to do anything. Eh? Mm. Eh? Urema, mm. Urema, 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 Anna, 
You see, this is one of the reasons I told my father that I will never eat whatever that good for nothing prepares in this palace. <laughs> now the results are coming out. My prince, you will be stabbed today to Agro Yemorugwagangu here. It is better you manage whatever you see than not eating at all. Ah, come on. I will survive on fruits. <clears throat> My prince, there is an observation that I made and I want to discuss it with you. Okay, go ahead. Uh, My prince, I know that Rutana has been infected badly because he tried to save the life of your loved one. And the father happened to be Amadi, who is the best herbalist in this village. Uh, my prince, leaving that boy there, I don't think is the best idea. We should take him to a quarter who can also cure him. Mm. Yes, my prince. So tell me, all these things you are saying now, where do you think it will lead you? Uh, uh, my prince, women are always fragile in mind. Especially Funanya. You understand? My prince, the more she look at the man who saved her life, dying, my prince, I think she will start getting in love with Why him. Why you shut up? My Ifunaya. So you think that in this life, Ifunaya will stoop so low to, to a common poor farm boy, all because he saved her life. When she knows that she is the future queen of this kingdom, my wife to be. Is that what you think? My parents, I was just trying to... Oh, you keep whatever you're saying to yourself. Keep it and make sure you don't vomit this nonsense next time. Else, I will cut off your tongue. My prince, yes. the king demands a present. All right. Now, don't you ever, ever bring up this topic again. What is even wrong with you, Kanna? He keeps thinking he's the only strong one. All he thinks about is work. How to make money, farm, or get laid off. Mama, is he not the one taking care of everything in this house? How do you even expect him to take care of us if he's not working this hard? Huh? Anyway, when is he coming back? Tomorrow. Eh? Tomorrow? Oh, he wants to sleep in the farm, right? Mama, we are done with the work at the farm. So where is he? He got another job in the next village. So he said I should come and stay with you. You know why he goes to work on the other farm. How? So Mama. you don't have to worry. Mama is in Ketan. I don't have to worry. How would he eat? Who will feed him? Mama, eh? You worry too much. The man you went to work for is very rich. I don't give him something better to eat, not what we eat here. What are you saying? Ha! Mama. There is no food a child will eat outside that will be better than what the mother will cook for him. Besides, do you know the love that goes inside that food? That is what makes it special. Not big chicken or small chicken or turkey. Even without meat, self, it will still be sweet. Mama, it's okay. He'll be fine, okay? Just stop worrying. Allow me to eat this food. Eat the food please. now. Eat it in peace. Yeah, no, in peace. While your brother is out there in pieces. <sighs> oh, father, you sent for me. I can't believe that the daughter of your know prepared this tasteless pot of pepper and served that food. <laughs> Who will eat this? And that's the woman you want me to make my wife. The future queen of this kingdom. Who knows if what you've eaten is the, the, the poison Opozo spoke about? What? Yes. No, it can't be. It's possible. What of uh, the maiden who was bitten by, by a snake? How is she? Any information? Well, her father is on it, but once she gets better, I'll bring her to the palace. Please, uh, if there is anything they need to get back and provide it, uh, let us get good news as, 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 as fast as possible. Please, father, don't have a taste of this anymore. Let me get that to clear this. What is your problem? What did I do to you? Why do you want to disgrace me? Can you try to 
How dare you disgrace me? This could be called a royal disgrace. Papa, disgrace you. What did I do wrong? Oh, you're asking what you did wrong. You came to the palace to prepare some kind of nonsensical ritual in the name of food. Papa, why are you blaming me? Is it not your fault? Did you allow me to do anything in the house? Oh, my fault? What is wrong with you? Can you feel this in me? What is in cooking? Ordinary cooking. Something you can use your common sense. You are blaming me. Don't. Don't lose the opportunity of winning the prince's heart. Else, you ruin the opportunity of becoming the queen of this kingdom. You will like a game before she win again. What is your problem? Papa, please, I'm going back to the palace. Ordinary cooking. Ordinary cooking. And you say I'm being fraud. For blaming me. Use your common sense and cook for the king to enjoy himself. If 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 you if you if you lose this opportunity, Uh, it's okay. Eh? What you did is very beautiful. Huh? It will help him uh, raise his temperature and then uh, ensure a more speedy recovery. Hmm? It's okay. Uh, I mean, while it's time for your medicine. Oh, Doctor, please. <laughs> take, take, take. Eh? Uh, take, take a little more. Take. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, while I prepare some hot water so that uh, we can soak your legs yeah, to kill the jams and ensure a speedy recovery. Hmm? I mean, while you need to eat something, I'll prepare some food for you. Let me get you some food. Uh, Thank you, Papa. Please, um, it's a uh, plantain and oil. Thank you. I'm not hungry. My prince, I know you're angry with me because of the mistake I made in the soup. But I promise you will enjoy this one. It's roasted plantain with oil. Try it, please. Uh, didn't you understand what I said? I said I don't need it. I am not hungry. Or can't I have my piece? Yeah, but my, my prince, please. I, I don't want you to be angry with me. Just have a taste of this. You will like it. I'm very sure you will like it. I, I'm coming. Let me get you water to wash your hand. You will enjoy this one. I'll be right back. Bont plantain. Isiaka. Uh, my prince. Please go. You can have this. Uh, my prince, I have already tested the one she gave me. The plantain is not. Well roasted. This oil in our food, no, this oil in no, no. I press my stomach now. You see? That's exactly what I am talking about. The future queen, I, I suppose, does not know how to add salt to oil, red oil. Please take it away. This one will be one of my friends. Oh. 
this kind of life. Imagine my poor son. After working in this village, he has moved to another village to continue working. No rest. No food. I mean, how would he survive? Hey, Chinekin. If only their father were to be alive, at least we'll have another source of income. And they won't have to be going through all this. Oh, God help us. Hey, She said he will be okay. Why is he cold? He is in the midst of our ancestors. Papa, I don't understand. What do you mean? Uh, you see, his cold body signifies that he is in the midst of our ancestors. Mm, that's why his body is cold. Now, his shivering means he wants to pop out from there. But they won't let him. You understand me? Yeah. So, what his body needs now is to be kept warm. Mm? So that um, he'll be able to overcome all these obstacles. Yeah. Don't worry. I will do something to help him presently. I know what to do. Hmm? Don't worry, I'm coming. Yeah. I will not let you die. I will keep you warm till Papa gets back, okay? Spend time with you. As, 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 as what? As who? Huh? You know what? Just go. Go to your quarters. I don't want to see you. <laughs> Will you stop it? What is wrong with you? 
My friends, why are you rejecting me? You know, you're just stupid. Well, I, I like people like you. You know why? You will waste your youthful age staying in the palace here, hoping and dreaming that I will marry you. But the good news is that you will get old single. Get out. Okay. I said get out! Look at her hunchback. I can't have to spend the time with you. As my wife or what? You sent for me. Is it a war zone? Okay. I want you to help me ask the gods of our land why they are punishing me like this. What crime did I commit? Where did I go wrong? What is my offense? Or is there somebody from my family who has done something wrong against the gods? Your Highness, the gods of our land will not punish a great king like you. They love you and always protect you. If there is anything bothering you, speak to my ears and I will talk to the gods on your behalf. You know, Chief, was, uh, at times when you talk, I begin to feel that your inner eyes are the ones that are working now. It appears as if your physical eyes are blind. Can't you see the kind of thing I am eating? I am sorry, my king. I think what you are eating might be what pleases you. I still don't understand why you are still angry. That was why are you so complicated. I mean, why are you so mean and wicked? You were the one who asked me to sack all the maidens that are working in the palace because one of them is up for its chief. I sent all of them out in direct obedience to your instruction. Can't you see what I am eating? Is there any normal king who will be eating this? Since that time that I sacked all of them, I have not eaten any normal food. If the gods of this land want me to embark on fasting, they should at least tell me. And I should prepare my mind. I am sorry, my king, for what you're passing through. But I never asked you. I only delivered a message from the gods. I never asked you not to employ any palace maid. So how can I possibly employ another palace maid when I don't know the particular one who wants to poison me? and why she wants to poison me. My king, there are many ways to kill a rat. I think you should ask the prince to bring one of his betrothed to be cooking for now until the gods reveals who wants to kill you and why. Well, I am in a position to let you know that the adage, there are many ways to kill a rat, does not arise now. There are two women who are betrothed to the prince. We have already tried the daughter of the Olo, and we discovered she cannot cook. Now, the daughter of Amadi was beaten by a snake. She is incapacitated. So, where then are we going to get this one that will be cooking here? Listen, I want you to go back. Go back and find out from the gods of this land why they are punishing me. They need to tell me if there is anything they want me to do. And if there is anything they want me to do, I am going to do it. I don't want to continue doing things like this. Your Highness, I think we should... I, I, I just said you should go and ask the gods for a way forward. That is what you should be doing. Igwe...
Don't use us, don't use us, slap me. I can't bust. You're too fast. You're too fast. Or you teach me the thing, come, thing, come, take all the cut. Thing, come, thing, come, take all the cut. That way to sing it. I can't. Hey! 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 Why? Oh, Papa. I need me. Papa. Give me my shot. Network. Listen to me. Eh? You will go with him. Ah, yeah, yeah. I'll be for more. I'll be for more. I'll be for more. You keep quiet. You will go with your mother to the farm and remain there with her. Ngozi, you will prepare food eh? very fast too. I take to them at the farm. I will remain with them at the farm. Okay? I will join you at the farm once I'm back from the meeting. Is that clear? Yes, Papa. Oh, Papa, 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 you look like a dragonfly. Like father, like Let son. me come back from the farm and discover that you did not go to the farm. <laughs> then we shall know what spirit is that that directs you. <laughs> Papa, is the spirit? Papa, <laughs> what, 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 stop that. Oh, one more. Papa, to die so that answer so to use his nose for a Hold your greetings. I said, keep your greetings. What's wrong with you? Why did you collect money from me, you and your brother? And you know quite well you have not finished my work. Yet you collected the money. Why? Let me explain. Explain what? What do you want to explain? That you're not a thief? Or that you did not collect money from me? No, what do you want to explain? What's going on? Nanya yeah, John. Nice what is going on. Nah. Oh, Gini. Nah, what is it? My daughter, just a little misunderstanding. Gino you know, misunderstanding. Gino. You know, yeah? Did you say a little misunderstanding? Oh, okay, take it easy, no put on Belemwa. Oh, oh yanka. Bo belemwa. Oh yeah. Gary won't come mad. If I go on a board and own a bunch of shoes, only turn on if you feel game. Oh yeah. By the way, what is your other son? Did I feel Lotana? He went. Um, he went. Okay, he went. Um, he went. Oh, the Mister Wadro. Is it that you don't trust me or what? I am only afraid of losing you to a nobody. Everybody is somebody. Nobody is nobody. That's my point. My love, that's my point. I don't want you to go falling for people with no values. And leave me for them. I am betrothed to you already. How am I going to leave you? I don't have a choice. You saying this to me? Yes. Do I have a choice? If I decide to leave you, if I decide not to marry you, I don't have a choice. I'm already betrothed to you. So why are you complaining? Uh, it's all right, Anugum. I've heard you. But I am giving you only today. To go and finish that work. Else! I'm going to say to her. I'm going to say to her. I'm going to say to Come on, Mama. You need to stop crying. I've told you before he will be fine. 
Well, why did you lie to me? The, the same reason place? you're crying now. I just didn't want you to start thinking about him. Besides, Lotana is being treated by the best herbalist in the village. Well, if it's okay, he should be home now. Why is he not home? Uh, of course he's not well. That's where he's at. I'm at this place. Hi. Oh. You'll be fine. Just, just stop crying, okay? Please. Okay, I'll go and visit him now. I'll check on him, okay? Uh, what, what about Koronji's uh, uh, job? I talk I'm trouble. I talk so we can't so bad run because. When I'm done with my brother, I'll go and walk. I'll do the job, okay? Just just stop crying, please. Pretty more pretty for me. I'm not going to be talking to you. You two, you will disappear. Man, I won't disappear. Just stop crying, okay? Oh, oh. It's a good night, and okay. I got your mom. You claim you love me, yet a man I just met for the very first time risked it all to save me. And the only way you can reward him is by being unnecessarily jealous and envious. What is wrong with you? How do you feel? Not very well, my prince. I'm still weak. But I'll be fine. What you did was an act of valor. And you will be rewarded once you get better. Thank you, my prince. Are you satisfied? Did you do it to please me or you did it because it's what you have to do? You talk like I owe him anything. Yes, you do. You owe him a lot. That man is the reason I am still alive. You claim you love me, yet I don't think you do what he did for me. Watch your tongue. Watch your words. If I were you, I will make this man my best friend or personal guard. At least for saving the life of the woman you claim you want to marry. Brother, how are you feeling? Well, I thank the gods. Yeah, I'm getting better. Oh, wow. How is Mama? Mama has been so worried about you. I know, I know. I'm glad you're really getting better. Excuse me. Lutana, I'll come and see you later. Okay, it's all right. It's all right. Bye bye. My brother, let me walk you out. Hey, it's easy. <clears throat> let me take you to the palace. No, my prince, I am still hurting. I will come when I am well rested. But you just told him you will come to visit him. Is he more important than I am to you? And is he the prince of this kingdom? Or is his father the king of this kingdom? Oh, so you know all that. And you prefer to go visiting him than coming with me to the palace. My prince, please, I'm tired. I want to go inside and rest. Your Highness, food is ready. Should I serve it here or at the dining? I am not hungry. Your Highness is very delicious. You will like it. I said I am not hungry, please. Can I be left alone?
breakfast is uh, ready. Let me for you. Mba, mba, mba. Are you sure you're not hungry? Are you sure? I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. Thank you very much. It's like I've been thinking. And I thought it's wise we'll make Lutana one of us. Yes, make him my personal guide and advisor. Why, my prince, if I may ask? He's strong. Brave and wise. I think it's the best way to, you know, reward him for what he did. My prince, this must be for Naya's suggestion. Oh yes, it is. And it's a good one. My prince, are you now blind from saying the truth? What truth are you talking about? My prince, she is trying to keep her close to the palace so that she can easily go in whenever she wants. My prince, she is trying to deceive you. Don't let, don't let her deceive you. Isiaka. My prince. This should be the very last time you speak of Ifunaya to me in such an evil manner. Uh, I'm sorry, my prince. Only if you will permit me to have my eyes on her for some time. And then I will be able to prove myself wrong. Or rather prove you wrong. You may go. I was shocked myself when I heard that Unenna, his daughter, is in the palace. My son told me, but I doubted him. This further proves the point that uh, he connived with our ego so that our daughters will leave the palace for his own daughters to stay. Imagine that. Well, I feel as much pain as both of you right now. But let us not jump into conclusions yet. Let us all wait and see where all these are going to. Ojuku, you are right. But I don't want to believe that it was all lied to me until I'm sure of it. Okay. Mm. What more can I say? <clears throat> Let all of us keep our fingers crossed. Mm. As much as I want you to get married into a royal home, I also want you to marry a man who would love and respect you for who you are. But the problem here is that you are already betrothed to the prince. Papa, betrothed or not, my point is I'd rather remain single than marry a man I don't have feelings for. Are you seeing Rotana? No, Papa. I told you exactly the way everything happened. We have never spoken to each other till yesterday when it all happened. Mm. Okay. Okay. Let's 
it's very good. Very, very good. Hmm? I wouldn't want you to have anything to do with Putana. Hmm? You belong to Prince Ikenga. Hmm? That is where you belong. Please. Papa, I, I thought you just said you want me to be happy. Just as Mama was happy with you. Yes. Listen, Rotana is no match for Ikenga. Ah, Prince Ikenga is Prince Ikenga. Rotana is Rotana. Eh? Both of them cannot compete. Yes. Being betrothed is not a guarantee for marriage, Papa. Besides, the prince was betrothed to someone else before me. Why has he not married her? Eh? Papa, I have the right to marry who I love. Who. I have the right to. What are we even talking about here? I don't even have feelings for this person. I don't. He saved my life and I am indebted to him. That is all. All I'm saying is that you should have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Rutana. Hmm? You can be friends with him. That is okay. Hmm? You can be friends with him, but don't fall in love with him. Please. Yeah? Don't fall in love with him. Hmm? Rutana has no time for any woman. He doesn't even look at me that way. Hmm? Yes, he doesn't. He's just being a nice guy and I'm only returning the energy. I told Mama that you went to work in another village. Because really? she came to the house this morning. Ah. Wait, I thought you were done with the chase job. I was very worried about you. That's why I didn't finish the job. You <laughs> You know, this statement you just made is a statement that is always made by lazy men. Let me take you to Mama first. And by the way, I'm not lazy. Hey. Oh, thanks to the ghost that you're fine. Look, I was worried. I, I, I was even on my way to come and see how you're doing. It's okay. I, I am fine now, don't worry. Uh, are you? Yes. Uh, I have to follow it. I have to be sure you're okay. Ah, there will be no need for that. Eh? You know, don't stress yourself, mm -mm. okay? I insist. Uh, um, in that case, let me leave you too. She will take you to the house. Yes, I will. Uh, let me go you, back uh, to the farm and finish the work. Yes, go. So, I will. Mean, don't worry, I'll take yes, you to yes. your house. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. That you made it alive. Hey, I am happy. And what are you doing with it? Look at her. Look at her breast. And her distracting waist. You will punish you. Do not go. You know God. Somebody will spoil your own. Yeah. Another person will spoil your own. Yeah. Hey, you look, 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 look at her. That's the waist. Come, 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 <laughs> the other leg will. It's for your own good. It's for your own good. This girl means no good. She's not thinking about your future. The only thing that this girl needs from you is to insert her own phone inside your phone mirror. That is all, and to destroy your future. So I advise you desist from such association. She is evil. Please, please, stop crying. As you can see, I am fine. 
<laughs> I'm fine, Mama. I can't you say you're fine when you almost died. Mama, I did not die. I did not almost die. Like I said before, I am fine. Huh? You, 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 you have to know that you and your brother are all that I have in this world. If anything happens to either of you, I'll, I'll be left with just one. Mama, nobody is dying on you. Nobody's dying. My brother is fine, and I am fine. And we are going to be alive for your you. Your brother? Okay, where's your brother? Where is he? I. I sent him to finish up the work at the geocologist farm, so it's okay. What if a snake bites him there? Uncle Ifaka, what if a snake bites him? Mama, Mama, can you just forget about this whole snake thing? And all this fear. Okay. Uh, I am hungry. Please, I need, I need yeah. something to eat, Mama. Tell you what, for the first time you are hungry without working, come back eating. I will prepare the best soup for you. If you go around, I will have to you give me a nice Hey! Mama, this is the you I like to see. Hi. Good father, she's still on feet to come. Oh, 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 I don't understand. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you think that does it mean you don't understand what it means that somebody is hungry? For how long are we going to continue like this? Not eating properly prepared food is not good for the system. How else am I going to explain that to you? I need you to go and get that girl for her to come and prepare something nice for us to eat in this family. Why are you not doing that? Well, Father, I will suggest you join me doing fruit for the main time. I mean, she's still in serious pains. I should join you in eating fruits. Did I tell you I am planning to become a vegetarian? I am talking of properly prepared food. You need to go and get that girl to come and cook for us. After all, her father is a, is a herbalist. So if there is any problem, he can always handle it. Well, father, I tried. And um, I can't force her to come. You tried? Maybe you did your best, but your best wasn't good enough. That's why she's not here. So I need you to go and try again. You need to convince that girl to come and cook. It's important. Please. Can't you get it? And hey, do not ever tell me about eating fruits again. Don't. I like a car. If she like it, I know she will like it. Hi! Otamo! Otaga Bagomanya! My beauty queen! What's the matter is around? Eh? Your father? I thought he would be at the palace by now. I didn't even know he's around. You would have called to confirm first. Otamo, the truth is that I don't have a time. Look at what you are saying. I'm not the one that will recharge your phone for you. Nay. Nay, good day, sir. Uh-huh. Good day. Yes, sir. The blood meat? Hey, uh, uh, as usual, sir. Uh -huh. As usual. Okay. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Uh, the, um, go. Um, go and continue your, what you're doing. Yes, Papa. Mm. Okay, Papa. Mm. No. You're welcome. Uh, um, yeah, Nabazi. Eh? Yes, you have to go. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have to go. In fact, you have You have delivered. That is one. So you can go. What is if you never ever? No, I don't believe you. I'm sick, Banaba. I'm not even coming. You're telling me to go. That's the name, Nabambo. You are trying. Very strong hunter. In fact, if you have up to four or five youth behaving like you, as strong as you are, our kingdom will be better. Uh, then, Nabba. You see, you are very, you, you are hard working hunter. You are Java?
my love. The palace is lonely right now. And I have been praying for this beautiful moment. You know, I never knew how much I would miss you until I spent a night away from you. I <laughs> miss you so much. My lady, please, Yaga. Listen, I am going to make sure you return to the palace. <clears throat> Is you. My father won't let that happen. Unless you marry me. Yeah. My love. Prince, you think that we get himself a wife before we think of getting married? But why? My love, you have to understand now. Prince, you think that. What about you? My love. Understand me. Prince, who's the prince getting married now? Leave me. I do not. My God. Palliative is here. What are you doing, my compound? Mazi, good morning, sir. I don't want to repeat myself. Mazi, I, I came to. Will you keep quiet? Stay away from my daughter and get out of my compound. Mazi, I, I will you want to up there? Get out of my compound. I now! Get out of my compound. Will you shut up there? He's going well, outside. I saw Isiaka going to Ichi Debu's house. What is he going there to do? Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Our father has gone to meet him. So, Isiaka is going there to sing God. Can you come? It's suspicious that Ngozi and Isiaka planned to poison our king. It's becoming reality. You know very well that they are in love. Love. Yes, but I think for now they should stay away from each other. Good afternoon. Which day? Go and bring my food for me. Be fast about it. There is no food for a lazy man like you. Which day? Hmm? Are you stupid? You're not me? Eh? What is the meaning of that nonsense you just said? It's better be stupid than useless. Yes. Oh, when she there, what did you talk? Can you look you now? What did you talk? I'm transfer aggression to you now. Eh? Are, are, are you mad? Are, are you stupid? I am not. I'm only telling you the truth. Look at you. You go out every day. Come back home without any any bush meat. And you are here asking me for, for, for food. It's like you want me to transfer this aggression to you now. Please, please, you should stop this. Stop this now. Go and give your brother food. Let him yeah? go to the kitchen and get food for himself. Am I your house help? I'm the boy. If you want food, go to the kitchen and get food for yourself. I'm is, not your man. You see, Monta? Mm. Eh? Or what we are want to? Did you send me for hunting? Please. Eh? If you go out to bring bush meat, I am you. No. Come back with bush meat. By the time I go inside and come out and you've not prepared my food, you book yourself back there. Oh, Chinna Yala. Oh, sir. No, Bionni. Wait. If, if truly you are hungry, go to the kitchen and get food for yourself. Get in here. Leave me alone. So this is how you people fight in this house. Hmm. Yeah. I believe that one.
What are you doing here? I came to see you. You shouldn't have done that, please. I mean, your presence is needed at the palace. I choose to be wherever I want to be and whenever I want to. Besides, I'm no man's object. So you don't understand. I am just trying to avoid problem. Please, I don't want please. trouble. What's going on here? Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, my dear. What are you doing here? News has it that you're supposed to be at the palace. Give him a message, Abba. Biko, I don't want to get into any trouble with Igwe. Please. Mama, no one is bringing trouble. My father asked that I bring this food to him. It contains medicine and antidotes that will help him get better. Thank you. And greet your father for me. Look at me. Thank you for saving my life. You're welcome. Do you mind seeing me off? I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, I can't do that now. You have been eating now. You have been bringing bush meat and you've been eating every now and then. Let me eat this one. At least, I'm, I'm so quality. Where is my bush meat too? It is your bush meat you have been eating. I don't know where But I don't want ma. Oh, the ma. It's no good though. It's no good. Oh, the ma. You can go now. Forgive me now. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay, wait. Hold on. So you do not look. Jesus. Nah, but. It's this small now. But they have been eating now. They have been eating so much. But it's no good though. It's no good though. Again. Telephone. Um, okay, um, come and sit. Come and sit, 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 sit. What is it, my dear? Why, why are you back from the palace? But Igwe said I should leave the palace. Why? Igwe said you should leave the palace. Why? Because of my inability to cook. Simply because of your inability to cook? No. No. It cannot be. I can't make such mistake. All the time I spent in preparing for this? No, it's not possible. It is not possible. It cannot be. Never mind, my dear. Don't worry. I know what to do. I assure you, I will take care of it. You understand? Trust me. The owner of this kingdom. I will do something about it. Do you understand? So, let me take it. Just calm down. Be yourself. Are you sure of what you just told me? 
my prince. I swear with my life. Take other gas with you. Go and get that idiot for me. And tell Ifunaya that my father requires her presence in this house now. Go. Order. Azuka, what is it? Why are you shouting, my? You see, you, you shameless girl. You know, I used to think you're a good person, hmm? but it is very clear that you're a pretender. Azuka, I don't understand. What? what, what I don't understand what you're talking about. What did I do? Look at your mouth. Did you not tell me that you're not interested in Rotana? No, no. If Naya, did you not tell me that you don't have feelings for Rotana? But you cooked food. You took it to him. Ask what? Eh? You see, you, you are shameless. What never shameless you don't have? Please, Azuka, I don't have time for these meaningless issues, eh? Or this kind of quarry. I don't have time for it. Please, I, I want to go and rest. Oh, where do you think you're going to? No, no, where do you think you're going to? You didn't need to rest when you were busy cooking for my Rotana. Why not go to the palace and cook? Eh? Leave my house. Eh? Get out from here! Enough of all this insult! I don't want it again! Go away! Oh! You want to fight me? Fight me! Ah. Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Fight me! Let's get this! Come on. back here! Come on. Eh? Look, if I lay hold on you, I will cut you to pieces and share your meat to the best of the earth! Mama, we have come back early. You people that finish this delicious meal, you know I You baby, here you can eat. You just like food, eh? You eat both the one left for you and the one meant for somebody else. See, oh, this food contains the antidote for your brother's ailment. Make sure you keep some for him. Mm, antidote. Mama was also affected, so I need this antidote. Ah. <clears throat> <clears throat> this one, you people are here. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well, ma. The king and prince want to honor Rotana for his good act. So I'm taking him to the palace immediately. Honor him? Yes. Yeah, Inna. You mean now? Yes, I'm going to the palace with him. Nah, check to make you go. Hey. In that case, uh, uh, Mama, yeah? I will see you later. So glad you <clears throat> uh, uh, brother, I'll follow you too now. My friend, shut up your mouth. Follow me to here. Stay in the house and help Mama do one or two things at home. The invitation was for me. Not uh, for us. Then it's work. You tell me to come and work every time. Make sure you go and finish that work. Go and finish it after after uh, after eating. Mama, she be yeah. upset. Maybe it's to work on the farm. Come and walk, come and walk. Uh, but now you're eating. Are you not the only one eating now? Come and walk, come and walk. Are you not eating alone? Yeah, I can't see one as well. Chineke. I don't like this. So I, I, I don't like it. I, I don't like it. Uh, why would you go inside for me? When, when he knows that I, I'm not feeling fine and I'm, I'm still recovering. Uh, listen, you have to answer him. Eh? Is he by himself? Who sent for you? Eh? Is it be, you don't have to turn him down, okay? Answer him, go, eh? Follow the guy, no problem. Mm, Baba, I, do like, I don't like it, I don't like it. Don't worry, don't worry, eh? Don't worry, just go. Hmm? Ah, God! 
Ije. Take good care of her, eh? All right. She is not feeling very fine. All right. Uh, let us know why he is uh, sending for you. I want you not to step out of this farm today. What is wrong with you? Papa, what is about to happen? Heavy war! War! Which war? Which war? What are you talking about? Papa, it's war between the royal family and that of Moria's family. What did you discover this time around? Oh. Papa, uh -huh. Prince Ikenga uh -huh. has been calling him for to come to the palace and cook for them. If Nanya instead went to her father's house, prepared delicious meal, and, and took it to Rotana. So, how is that a problem? Well, Amadi is a herbalist. Hmm? I'm sure he must have helped if Nanya prepared the food so that Rotana's healing will be complete. Okay. Papa, that is your own version of the story, your understanding. Mm. But the royal family, they are not seeing it like that. Oh. They are seeing it the other way around. As I'm talking to you now, the word that is on is that Iwe has given an order that, that Rotana and Nefnanya should be apprehended hey. and, 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 and face judgment. That is the latest war, Papa. Well, the gods know the best. Oh. <laughs> yes. The gods know the best. Idiot. And that is why I have come to give you people the latest and not the final update. <laughs> I will go back and make sure that the, the updates are complete before. Allow him to go gather more information for us so that we we'll know when there is problem in this kingdom and know when to run. Let me continue with my work. Are you serious at all? But Papa, eh? I thought if Naya is betrothed to the prince. So how is all this a problem? Well, if you ask me, I think she's just paying back the only way she could. My daughter, no traditional right was done. Amadi refused to take anything from Igwe. He said in as much as he would have wanted his daughter to get married to the royal family, he would rather let his daughter choose her destiny when she grows up. Hmm. Papa, there is a big problem. But if any man takes such risk for me, I will never let him go. I will hold him. This conversation is okay now. Let's continue with our work so we can leave this place. I'm tired. How is that your problem? What has come over you, Azuka? Why do you want to bring me disgrace in this village? Why should you go about fighting over a man? Why? Papa, leave that thing. Leave that thing, Papa. I, I liked him first. I was one who told him that, that uh, if Naya I liked him, she went behind me to steal him. Hmm? Look at you. If Naya that you are killing yourself over is betrothed to Prissy Kenga, and if Naya will not even think of making such mistake, Asaocha, in your head now you know if Naya more than me. Is she your friend? Mm -hmm. Eh? Let me tell you, if Naya does not even like Prissy Kenga, yes, and she will do more than I just told you she did. Hmm? And how are you even sure that Rotana will have any interest in you? Keep quiet! Look at what you are turning yourself into. Where is he ever heard that a woman is going after a man? Now, let me warn both of you. If I ever hear it from any of you that you are going after any man, I will disown you. Eh, uh, Papa, what about the ones fighting a man in this house? Don't you have anything to tell them? Eh? Won't you advise them? Amechi, if you think no one is aware of your stupidity, then you are mistaken. I only kept quiet because I expect you to marry that girl. Otherwise, I would have collected this gold from you long time ago. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. No need for the stress. You don't need to stress yourself on that. Because this is a free for here. We'll not marry that girl. Eh, uh, yeah, yo. 
the gods of our land has spoken. When that happens, then come and stop it. Keep quiet, both of you. I said, keep quiet. Nonsense. And you, you better be careful. You better be careful. Oh, gentle Batan, you will not marry her. You can never marry her. Oh, gentle Batan, I hear you. Oh, gentle Batan, oh, gentle Batan. My dear, I gathered you cooked and took food to the young man who saved you from snake bite. Instead of coming to cook for the king. How? How do we reconcile that? My king, I am very sorry. What I did was necessary. My father and I agreed that Lotana will stay in our house until he's properly healed. But then the prince started with his unnecessary jealousy. Why won't I? Why won't I when I saw you cuddling him? He saved my life. He was dying. I had to hold him to keep him warm. Can you imagine, Father? You had to hold him. You should have gotten someone else to do that. Don't you know that you are the future queen of this kingdom? My future wife. And where were you when the snake beat me? Have you even asked me if I want to be queen? Father, did you see that? Did you see that attitude I told you she just developed? Can you just, can you just shut up? What is wrong with you? We are here discussing the hunger that is dealing with the king and you are talking rubbish. My dear, please. If there is anything my son did that warranted this level of anger boiling in you, please forgive him on my behalf. You are going to cook something for us here in this palace today before going back to your father's house. Please. No problem, my king. What do you want to eat? Anything at all. Anything that can deal with the hunger. Anything is good. Okay, can someone show me to the royal kitchen, please? Where are these guards? Guard! Guard! Yes, Your Highness. Take this young woman to the kitchen. Yes, Fast. Yes, Your Highness. Finally, there is hope. Seriously, I don't like what you did. Should I make her realize that I'm her future husband? Shut up. Don't provoke me. The only thing we should be discussing here is how to deal with this hunger. I'm not talking rubbish. Father, but I, I... You know what? Get out. You can't actually reconcile anything. The king is hungry. And you are here exhibiting your unnecessary love and jealousy. My prince. I have been waiting for you. Oh. My prince, what's up? This will be the last time I will see you an inch close to Ifnaya. Or even see Ifnaya anywhere around you. If you see her coming, run, run as fast as your legs can carry you. Do you understand me? Because I will not warn you again. This is my prince. Isaka. My prince. Throw this fool out. Order. Is that it? Oga. Uh, Lotana, did you see Iwe? And what did he do for you? Mama, by the time I got to the palace, I said the Igwe had already left for an important meeting. So I had to stay some more. Then a counter message later came that uh, the Igwe called and said he won't be coming back on time. That was how I left and started coming home. Okay, I'll be wrong soon. Tomorrow is another day. Ichi, you go and see him. Oh? Uh, I just hope I'll see him. Uh, Bia, welcome. Okay. What are you doing here? I'm not supposed to be finishing Chief Okagwe's work. 
What are you doing here? Oga, okay, I'm not going to anywhere. I'm very tired. My body is paining me. So don't just tell me about work. Huh? Are, are you hearing what he's saying? You need to rest from which, which work? Hey, nah. Which work have you been doing? Calm down, calm down. You, you like work. Too much work. You don't rest. Don't allow work to kill you. I need to rest. My, my whole body is spinning me now. So that boy had the guts to insult me, to embarrass me. I'll not blame him. It's, it's because he's a prince. How old is he? If, if, if we check, is he my senior? He's lucky. He's just lucky we're in the palace. A small boy. Okay. What is it? A man, nothing. Who were you talking to? I'm not nothing. You didn't do nothing. You're standing here talking to yourself. You said nothing. Mama, I said nothing now. Lotana, you are not usually like this. What is the problem? Talk to me. Get it for. I was just thinking out loud. That's it. Your face doesn't look happy. It's not a question of thinking out loud. Something is bothering you. Mama, there's nothing bothering me. Mama, I said I'm fine. Fine. Hmm. 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 That was very good. <laughs> very delicious meal. You know, what I can tell you here and now is that you are not just an excellent cook, but I can tell you you are the best cook I have encountered in this kingdom. Thank you, my king. <laughs> my king, can I go home now? Of course, you will go. But I need you to understand you are coming back to this palace tomorrow to cook again. Okay? No problem, my king. I'll, I'll come. Good. <laughs> the driver who will take you back to your house is already within our side. That will not be necessary. I'll take you home myself. My king, I would rather go with the palace driver. Thank you. As it pleases you, my dear. Okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Father, what's going on? What's going on where? Are you, are you supporting her to disrespect me? Instead of encouraging her to respect her future husband, what do you want me to say? Tell me, let me say it. I am sorry for the way I have been allowing you to handle domestic works alone. I'm very sorry about it. I have started realizing my mistakes. It's all my fault. I want to say I'm sorry about it. And regarding the kitchen schedule, I want to make amends a kind of adjustment. Both of you will be doing the cooking, not just you alone, as you've been doing. For example, you cook today, she will cook tomorrow, but you'll be alternating it. Next tomorrow you cook again, the other day she will cook. And, but the thing is that each time it is her turn, you will, you will always come close to assist her. Papa, 
Just tell me you want me to start teaching my sister on how to cook. And stop playing hide and seek with me. Uh, uh, it's alright. It's alright. I want you to be teaching your sister how to cook. Are you alright, Barrett? Papa, it's not just saying it. You have to beg me. Beg me, then I'll consider doing it. Chechi. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, oh, it's alright. Um, uh, please. Upon mom. Uche. Ugebenja foes on one day, Jemba. Oh, one lamb which I like when you see. I see, okay, please, Biko. I am begging you, please teach your sister how to cook. Okay, Papa, but it will be on one condition. Condition, Ah, mm. 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 uh, uh, it's all right. No matter the condition, I will meet up. My daughter, how did it go? The king asked that I come to the palace every morning to cook for him and his household. Oh, but there's nothing wrong with that, is there? There's nothing wrong with that. Eh? He is your king, that is what. Besides, these things don't last forever, it's just for a little while. Hmm? So you can always do that. Eh? Oh, Papa, if it is a strategy for me to marry his son, it will not work. I, I, don't, I don't want to marry Prissy King. I don't love him. I don't like him. I will not marry him. It will not work. Okay. <clears throat> Whenever this issue comes up between you and Igwe Achebe, eh? tell him your mind. I will stand by you. Hmm? Whatever your stand is, Tell him I'm there for you. Hmm? I will stand by you. Thank hmm? you, Papa. Yeah. Is it my? I love you, man. Smile. Hey. Papa. Yeah, no. Oh. Hey. Mercedes. Hey. Yeah. Benzam. Hmm. Yeah, we engage. Very fancy. Are you looking so bright? <laughs> you see, uh, for quite some time now, I, I, my daughter has not brought bush meat. Mm -hmm. uh, it is obvious you have not been given to her because if you give her, she will bring home. Yes. yes. I, I hope all is well. All is well, nine. Nah. It's just that uh, the gods of our land have not been favoring me with bush meat. Yes. Oh, even man, the gods of our land will favor you with bush meat. You see, you see, uh, you see um, my prayers will work. The gods of our land will remember you. They will favor you with bush meat. More and more of bush meat. I pray the gods hear your prayers today. They will hear mm -hmm. my prayer. <laughs> I have asked the gods to favor you, and they will do that. The moment they do that, remember to do the needful. Bring the meat to me. Yes. When the gods pass the bush meat to you, pass them to me so that through me, mm. the bush meat will now go to wherever. <laughs> yes. Uh, and in case, in case, uh, if you get to my house, if I'm not there, my two daughters are there. Uh, no problem. At the mention of my name, they will know that the meat is meant for me. Okay. 
Okay. Yes. No problem, sir. Yes, all right. uh, it seems you are going for a function. Oh, yes. I am heading to the palace. I have one or two things to discuss with okay, the king. Sir. Okay, sir. Yes. Uh, let me be going, sir. Just see, okay. Uh, hello. Oh. Well. Uh, wait, wait. This is what we'll do. You've started clearing without even telling me. Do you know the land? See, you start from that point there, where that leaf is. Clear from there up. And then while I take care of this one. Okay. Yeah? We have another job at hand, so you better be fast. I'm getting very tired. You are. Lieutenant. Why are you running away from me? Please talk to me. If and I, what is it? What is it? I have told you to stay away from me. Listen, I have a lot of plans for my life and dying is certainly not one of those plans. Please, I don't want to die. No one is killing anyone. Just, Lutana, please talk to me, please. What do you want from me? I want us to be friends. That is not possible at all. I can't be your friend. Why? Why are you scared of being my friend? You saved my life. We deserve to be friends. Please, Lutano. I... I think saving your life was a mistake. What? If I'd known, I, I wouldn't have made such. What did you just say? You are, you are gradually making me regret my actions. Please, I, I have a lot of work to do. too harsh why did you talk to her like that you know i will not blame you you won't understand of course you were not there the prince vowed to kill me he doesn't even want to see me anywhere near her please i don't just start with this your advice now brother the prince would never do this that's just an empty threat he would never kill you why would the prince want to kill you? <laughs> Personal advisor to the prince. You know the heart of the prince now. You know his mind. That boy that is so arrogant. Please, I don't just want problem. I don't want. The last one I went through, I know what I felt. Please. Besides, I don't want to put my mind into unnecessary stress. I don't want to cause her pain. Please, focus on your work. I will leave you for now here alone. Brother, honestly, I think you need to go and beg her. Because that's the only girl that has loved you so much. Genuinely. Oh. Minister of Titanic, you do well. My friend, go and do your work. I'll cut you. I'll cut you. Oh, so you're here. Sit down and enjoy the kind of meal we last enjoyed in this house when your mother was still alive. You're right. This is one of the reasons I must marry Ephraim. Because we'll be enjoying this for the rest of our lives once she becomes my wife. Should I be reminding you one more time that when it comes to marriage, it is not something you force on people. People must be allowed to make that decision on their own. And moreover, this Ephraim we are talking about is a maiden who is qualified to be engaged in this palace as a cook, you know? Employ her as one who bears the cup of the king and they lead her into royal oath. She will stay here and be cooking for us as a maid and I will pay her handsomely. What about that? <laughs> If 
father. Mm -hmm. You should be helping me winning her heart. You should talk to her for my sake. I love her. I want to marry her. You can get the onus of winning a woman to become wife to the man is on the man who will marry her. When I needed to convince your mother to marry me, I didn't rely on anybody. I did that myself. But I am telling you as the son of a king, you have to convince that woman that you are a man indeed. By winning that woman yourself. She has not been talking to me for days now. Uh, you must have done something that will warrant that. What did you do to her? That's the reason I want you to talk to her. Please. Okay, then I will see what I can do. Just help yourself. This out of food. I start to eat. The food is actually very tasty. You can cook. You can take her. How do I eat her food when she does not talk to me? You are not going to eat her food because of this flimsy reason you just gave her? Does it make any sense to you? Because it doesn't make sense to me. Help yourself. This girl can cook. You don't want to eat? Well, your business. is not talking to you. You don't have to be sad. Who told you I'm angry over Lotan and not talking to me? It is written all over you now. Eh? See, I know everything that happens in this village. Anything that I did not know did not exist. Mm. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me, what do you know? Uh, I will tell you, eh? But you have to give me something in return. What do you want? I need to test your food to confirm that you are the best cook in this our community. Hey, that one is not a problem now. Come to my father's compound and I will serve you gladly. Ba, ba, ba. Ah. I don't need to test the food from your father's pot. I need to test the food from the royal pot, pot Igwe. Serve you from the royal pot? I can't do that. Wait, wait. I, I, the problem you are having with Rotana is a royal case. The case is a royal case. So my settlement must come from the royal pot. Pot of His Royal Majesty Igwe. Put from his pot. We settle the case and I'll tell you everything. But you know you don't walk there. It can't be done. Why? I cannot do it. I can't. You can't do it. <laughs> okay. No, Lucy, let me tell you, I know what you are scared of. Ask me how. And me, the information minister, will give you the, 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 the solution and how to go about it. Eh? Are you ready? Uh, uh, I'll do it. Uh, tell me, what, what, what do I have to do? If you are going to the palace to cook for the Igwe, Go along with the food flags. <laughs> After cooking the delicious food for the Igwe, dish Igwe's portion of food one side. You will dish Anne and the information minister's food one side. Then after you bring it to me, and I will tell you everything. Azuka one name. He does not talk to anybody anymore. Um, maybe the young man does not want anything in relationship. He wants everything relationship, but he does not have anyone to date. 
And what do you mean by he does not have anyone to date? Yeah, who did he? Who will date that one? That church rat? Hey. No, what does he have to give the woman? What? And what do you want from the church rat? He's handsome, strong, hardworking. He does not have a girlfriend. And that's why I want to date him and not him. Hey, Jesus. Azuka one name, you are very funny. And you think in this your little brain that you are the only one that wants such desires. Eh? Ujide. Eh? I know you were supporting Ifunaya. That boyfriend snatcher. That fool. That and who did she snatch from you? Who? She snatched Rotana from me. Yes, she did. Did you ever date Rotana? Did you? Uh, I did not date Rotana. But I was the one who told her first that I liked Rotana. I've been rehearsing, trying to, to, to arrange my words on how to tell him that I like him. Phew! She went to date him. Hey! Azuka Wanda, stop killing yourself over that young man. He does not like you. Uh, that is because if Naim must have told him something very bad about me, I know that I guess she's evil. She would have told him something that would make him not like me. No! No! If Naya that I know very well would never try such acts. Moreover, they said clear conscience fears no accusation. And what are you trying to say? Okay, please come. You have a visitor. You're welcome. Uh, you don't want to sit down. Let me get you. Okay. Ah. Thank you. What are you doing here? What do you mean by what am I doing here? I came to see you now. Do you come to tell me that you are coming? Ta, even you, you know this thing. You, you know. I called you, but you were not picking my calls. You would have waited to pick your call. What if my father is around? Eh, I met him and he said he was going to the palace and he's going to waste time there. So that was why I came to see my daughter. And you believed him? What if he just wants to set you up? You didn't even come with anything. Eh? He baka. Not even bushmeat. <laughs> See, it's a bushmeat that used to make my father happy. What if he comes back and didn't find any bushmeat in your hand? Please start going, no. Uh, Uchechi, I came to know what I have done to you. Eh? What have I done to you? Why do you keep treating me like a trash? Taking my love for a fool? Why now? Nah? Is it because your, 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 your beauty entered my eyes? My take it by you name is no kaga sisi na mbumugu. Eh? You don't love me, love you don't love me, but mbanchi mbute ita mbwe na mbute ya gina ndibu nini una atasa haya. Eh? Why do you keep treating me like this now? Nah? Adon kwa mma, if you know mma, adon kwa mma. Itu kwa chukwa ya suwa ino uwe kwa eko ade. It's not good though. Oh. Mm. I've heard you. Hmm? I'm going. Look at Biana, but come on, be going. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Biana, but Biana, but be going. Uchechi! Every time I'll be giving you my push me. Eh? Yeah. What's wrong with you? What you're doing to this guy is no good. Hm. Nixis, I'm not doing anything to him. Oh. I've told him that I'm not interested. You're not interested? Mm. You're not interested, but when he gives you push me, you will collect. This is that one is Papa's doing, no? He said I should not reject anything that any man gives me. As far as I've told the person that I'm not interested. Well, you would have given him little time, little attention. Papa is not coming back anytime soon. This is, there is no point in wasting my time. Eh? I don't want to have anything to do with a hunter. Pico, just imagine, when you become a queen, eh? <laughs> me, I'll become a hunter's wife, God forbid. <laughs> so you're now competing with me? This is, you, you're supposed to be understanding now, eh? Ah, no. Give me the prince now. Take him now. Come and take him now. 
<laughs> you collecting bush meat, you are not interested. It's papa, papa that told you. Okay. <clears throat> Your Majesty, I have actually come to tell you that, as it is now, my daughter has learned how to cook very well. Are you serious? Yes, very, very serious. That's pleasant information. Uh, as a matter of fact, I had to employ a catering teacher to teach her how to cook. Uh, she learned perfectly well. And she is so good in the kitchen as we speak. <laughs> is that so? Yes. Good. Yes. Good. And, um, uh, and moreover, I had, uh, but I want to plead that you accept her back in the palace. Yes. She, this time around, she will cook very well. You will enjoy her food. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, well, I am sorry to disappoint you or no, uh, but that position is no longer vacant in the palace. Hmm? Mm. No, I, I, I mean, I mean, I know, I know. It could be possible. But what, what I mean is, uh, could you please give her a second chance? Uh, she will be, she is better now and you will enjoy her. I mm -hmm. assure you this. I understand that. Uh, but I probably want you to understand that uh, uh, the office where she will be given the second chance is no longer vacant in the palace. Mm -hmm. Or do I have to use another language to communicate that to you before you understand what I mean? Or no. Um, no, I understand quite well. But what I'm saying is um, that sometimes opportunities can be created, uh, positions, vacancies can be equally created. Um, uh, create if we, another if, chance for uh, If we decide to create this other chance that you ask, who will she be cooking for? Is she the security guard? <coughs> Over on the security can't talk or say no. The original position is no longer there, I'm sorry. You can't go in now. Igwe is in a meeting with Ishii Okoroji. No, 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 please. I need to see the Igwe urgently, please. You have to wait here. Let me inform him first. Oh, okay. But this is not something you cannot deal with. Because only is it, you are in the right position to deal with it. Yeah, but when I have given you the opportunity as you know who to deal with it, you know who to deal with Your Highness. What is it? If Nanya is here to see you. Which if Nanya? The Abalizata. Are you mad? No, if Nanya is here, the Abalizata, and you left her outside to come and announce what? I'm sorry, Majesty. Hey, go and bring her in. And let this be the very last time she will come here and you leave her outside. I'm sorry, Majesty. I only thought you were in a meeting, don't know. The meeting is over. Go, 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 bring her. Ah. <clears throat> what does he mean of this? Oh no, Wogan. Take it down, Nagari, but I got Ma, you can go in now. For keeping me waiting now, make sure you don't get any food in this palace. Madam, please don't be angry. Wait, wait, wait. I'm only following protocols. Please. Why do you look so sad? Is there a problem? Your Highness, your son Ikenga is stepping on my toes. My son? Yes. What did he do? He threatened the life of the person who saved me. The same person who saved you? What is wrong with this boy? The same person who we should be rewarding in this palace? Is the one? Yes, Your Highness. God! Your Highness. Come here. Call myself. Okay. What is wrong with this young man? Greetings, my prince. Yes. 
the king needs your presence at the garden. Why is he calling me? I don't know my prince, but he is with Dono and Efna, the Habali's daughter. Father, you sent for me. Did you want anybody who has anything to do with it for nine? Father, I... He did not only warn him, he slapped him. What is wrong with you? Why will you do a thing like that? Father, she caused it. Your Highness, my father prepared some herbs and gave it to me to give him so that he will get better. Is that how I cost it? You were supposed to be in the palace cooking. You know, sometimes when you speak, I begin to wonder what is wrong with your head. Does it mean you cannot understand who you are? Why are you undermining your position? You can get this is 21st century and people must be allowed to live their lives. You have no right whatsoever to impose anything on anybody. This is a woman that is here helping us. In cooking what we are eating in this palace. She has the right to cook for any other person she wants to cook for. Why? The young man we will choose, who we should be, you know, rewarding in this palace is the person you have going to threaten. You know what? I need you to go and bring that Lutana in this palace right now. Because we, 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 we have to reward him. Yes, Father. Your Majesty, I have to be on my way now. So fast? Yes, I have one or two things to do at home. It's all right. I'll, I'll, I will keep you posted. It's all right. Every step of the way. We'll see you later. But uh, you, you sit down. Lutana will soon be here. Thank you, Your Highness. My father is too bitter about what happened in the palace. He believes your father was the one who planned for us to leave. I'm sorry. Believe me, he knows nothing about it. Hunger will have dealt with us if not for if night. I heard she's the one that cooks in the palace now. Yes, and she's very good, I must confess. And she's trusted not to poison Iguachebe. The message was not meant for her. See, I am tired of hiding. You need to do something as fast as possible so we can be together. Please. Uh, my love, like I told you earlier, all this will end immediately if Prince Ikenka chooses a wife. Bikun, I will, I will come and marry you once you step in to your wife. Man feels a long while now, Bikun. And the problem is that if Naya does not even love him. Then he should marry your sister. My dear. My, my loyalty is with the prince. But if he doesn't like my sister, I will support him to marry whosoever he wants. You know? Do you know why I love you? No. Your honesty and sincerity. You are always truthful. Thank you. <laughs> That's so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> hey, My parents is calling me. We have to go now. Be good. Please. Please, please, please. Smile now. She doesn't even like Prince Ikenga. He is the one forcing himself on her. I will capitalize on that. Prince Ikenga has no option but to marry my daughter. I have seen that if Nanya is not a big threat at all. Get her married to that Rotana, and Prince Ikenga will lose his interest for her. That is what I have to do. That is what I have to do. Um, Igwe Achebe demands your presence urgently at the palace. Who? Me? As you can see, I'm walking. 
I'm not leaving here. It is the king himself that demands your presence. Even if it is the president, even if the order came from Asorok, I'm not going anywhere. What's the problem? I said I'm walking. <laughs> but Anna, it's like you don't understand what you're saying, Ba. It's a very urgent matter and your king demands your presence in the palace immediately. Yeah, it's one small thing that made me not to slap you. He said it's not going anywhere. So what is it? Huh? Is this an arrest? Because you're just wasting your time. Now get out! I'll tell the king exactly what you say. My friend, yes. just get out! Get out before I, 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 I take off your head. Can you, can you imagine? Just let's get back to work. Where did you go, Isiaka? Uh, my prince, I went out to take care of some personal and family issues. Let this be the last time you will ever leave this palace without letting me know. Yes, my prince. What troubles you, my prince? Could you believe that Ifunaya reported me to my father consigning Rotanda? What? How could she do such a thing? You see, I'm beginning to believe what you told me earlier. That these two must have been in a secret affair before the snake bite. That should not bother you, my prince. But what should bother me? My prince, that boy is now taking advantage of your father's love, even to demand more than he deserves. My prince, the king's envoy is up. Oh, come in. My prince. Where is the young man? He refused to come with us, my king. What? Why will any reasonable human being refuse to obey the summon made by a king? What reason did he give? Your Majesty, he didn't give me any reason. He only said that he will resist arrest if that is what we came for. Do you have an explanation? Ikenga, what did you do to that young man? to warrant him making this kind of decision. Father, I did nothing else to him. Your Highness, if I may speak. Go ahead. Can you speak? Tell me every single thing you know. Your Highness, Ikenga invited him to the palace before harassing him. What? What? Was it in this palace you slapped him? Exactly, Your Highness. Oh my God. Ikenga, I am very disappointed in you. Who does that? Your Highness, to, to, to what do I owe this visit? I am a poor widow and I really don't have anything to offer you people. One of your children has fan favor before the king. One of my... Which of them, please? Lotanna, Your Highness. Lotanna? No, Where is this Lotanna? Oh, no, he is not at no. he, he has He has gone to work. Where? Now the farm. They moved from farm to farm. I sent for him earlier and he didn't come. Are you aware of this? No. Your, Your Highness, I, I, I'm not aware. I want to see him as soon as he returns. Yeah, I, will, I, will, I will tell him, I will, I will send him to the palace. You risked your life to save Ifonanya's life. Yes, Your Highness. Thank you. On my own side, I am sorry for the whole embarrassment. It will never happen again, okay? It's all right, my friends. And on that note, there is something I want to say here and now. You know, this is the 21st century where no one has a right to interfere in the process of another taking a decision on who he or she will spend the rest of his or her life with. If Naya 
is a maiden I employed in this palace to cook. And because she is so good with that particular assignment, I was already nursing the thought of um, engaging her permanently. And I have seen that she has her choice. So be trotted or not, I am going to allow Ifnaya to marry the one she loves. And um, if you, Lotena, is the one she wants to spend the rest of her life with, I am going to sponsor that marriage. Shut up. And don't say anything. There was no bride price paid. Her father did not collect any bride price. As if the man knew that if Nanya would grow up and fall in love with someone else. That is the case here. This young man here is the one she has decided to spend the rest of her life with. I am a very transparent king. And like I said before, I am not going to interfere in that process. So, you have to prepare because you will be getting married to her and I am giving you my blessing. Thank you, Your Majesty. You know, I equally gathered you are very good in yam farming. In fact, the information I have is that uh, you are one of the best in this kingdom. With the help of the gods. <laughs> well, as a support to you for what you have done, you see that uh, large expanse of yam farm that belongs to the king. Starting from tomorrow, you will be the one in charge of that farm. And then you will cultivate that farm for the king. It will be a means for you to live the kind of life you should live as one who is married to a woman who means everything to the king. Your Highness, thank you very much. And you, son, you really need to cheer up and stop doing things that will make it appear as if you are fighting the gods. When the gods are involved in a process, there is nothing you can do as human. You only have to play along so that you will not be caught in the middle. Excuse me, Father. I do not allow this to discourage you. You have the blessing of the king, and that is most important. Thank you, Igwe. It shall be well with you, son. in this village but you don't know what is going on mm. eh? Eh? what is it talk to us uh, um, paid rotana a royal visit in the company of prince ikenga and ifunaya stop lying if you get a pure line eh? Yes. Igwe Achebe, our Honorable Igwe, made his son to render an open apology before everybody for slapping Rotana. That is not possible. 
Huh? It has become possible. I know you won't believe the next impossibility that I want to say now. You won't believe it. Mm. You will not believe it. Igwe Achebe made it clear that this is 21st century. Check it, mom. Mm. That Ifunaya is free to love whoever she wants to love. And she is free to marry whoever she wants to marry. I say, Ifunke Ikuna, it is a lie. Igwe Achebe cannot say that. Igwe even did more than that. He were instantly promoted Rotana and the brother Igobike into becoming the direct manager of his farm. Ah. And the uh, Efnanya is now the chief and the head cook, the chef of the palace. <laughs> Automatic promotion. Unbelievable. Yes. Are you it's serious? unbelievable. It, 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 it has happened. <laughs> Papa, change has happened. Yeah, be serious, so don't come with all this your joke. Are you serious? I will choke under your eye and I do I look like a joker? Nga bo can no. Nga bo nga nga Papa Papa what are you going to do with that? Are you fucking you try that thing? This one I'm about to say will shock all of you. Nkaga wuni to you won't believe it. Igwa Achebe has vowed to sponsor their marriage. Even if they are marrying different person, he promised to sponsor it all. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Papa. Very, very proud of you. If you, my friend, please, I beg you, please leave Rotana for me. Eh? Uh, my friend, you, you know I love him. You know I love him so much. You know I told you. I saw him first. You told me you don't have feelings for him. You don't like him. What are you now doing? Eh? Please leave him for me. At least you have the prince who wants to be with you. Please marry the prince and be your queen and leave me with Rotana, please. Azoka, I am not the one you should be pleading with. Talk to Rotana. If he loves you, fine. Show him how much you love him. If he accepts you, I promise I will stay away. I knew you were going to sound like this. You see, you, you're a very wicked person. If I am, henceforth, we're no longer friends. Yes, so long as Rotana is not mine, you cannot have him. I promise you that. And then, you will suffer. You will suffer, goats. You see? You see why I always warned you against having too many friends? Now, the only friend you have has turned into an enemy. Hmm? It's not your enemy. See? It is clear that Igwe Achebe did not plan with the Ichi to send you and your colleagues out of the palace. But only God knows what Igwe Achebe is up to. But I must see to the end of all this. Papa, Igwe Achebe is a nice man. He treated us very well in the palace. He treated us as though we are his children until your cousin came with his fake prophecy. Because none of us in the palace has the mind to poison our great king, except Ngozi, whom I cannot badge for. Mm. Whatever Igwa Chebe is up to, Abbasarum, it is none of my business. My own is get married and give me grandchildren. Why, me take on you? Me take on you, come on, you know, 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 come on, you know
Are you jealous? Now, they will give me clothes. Apa rice, apa nuncha, everything. And you go kai kai. Is that why you are jealous? Open the gun, jealous. Some tablet. No, but I am. Be away. No one. I want to come for Mugo. Then man kechi. Eh? Oje go Mugo. Ni be managa so Mugo. When me to men in this village, lie lie. I will go for Mugo, and I will come back. Okay, na ano ya? Minutes of Mugo. Mama mo ganu zine mo. Chapa me mo. Eh? Jukwaya. I don't care. Mama mo ganu zio kumakoi ya Mugo Mugo. Mama, your own is rice. Do this one. Mama, allow me to rest. Let us have peace in this house now. No, there will not be no rest. There will be no peace until you get married and leave my house for me. Mama, no zio kumakoi ya Mugo Nuna. Mama, no zio. Now that is the most I'm not going to get married. Okay, I'm not going to get I'm 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 Eh? Eh, no, 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 If you have been doing like this, I will not be against you. <laughs> Ifoma, how are you? I'm fine. Maybe your friend should have it. Ifoma, hmm? take. No. Then you take the bush meat as well. No, thank you. Yeah, no problem, now. Yeah. Um, come, let me see you off. Let me go and see her off. Oh, sa. Hmm? See, eh, I'll be coming now, now, now. You know I love me. What's oh, up? I'm coming to arrange it. Can you help me with soup? You want to go? I'm coming now. Yeah. Don't go too far. Yes. Yeah. I'm coming now. Yeah. You would have collected this bush meat now. Nah. At least go home and go get treasure. Eh? Otana, I want to say I'm sorry. You know, I, I'm sorry for not wanting you and if not to be together. I'm sorry I forced myself on you. It's okay, I forgive you. Um, please, don't tell anybody I apologize to you. They will laugh at me. It's, don't worry, Asuka. I won't tell anybody, I promise. Can we be friends? <laughs> we are friends already, of course. Mm -mm, I don't think we're friends. <laughs> Asuka, I hold no grudge against you. Um, can I get a hug? Okay, no problem. But that's enough, you know. We are friends, right? Thank I... you. I think my brother is beginning to like you. <laughs> because he's giving me bush meat. Yes, nah. Or do you think that my brother will offer you bush meat just like that if, if he does not like you? Well, if you must know, that is his own way of going after a woman. Yes. <laughs> Don't be so sure. He might just be nice to me because I'm your friend. Oh, Diego. I also because you're my friend. Well, I'm quite sure that my brother likes you. But what I don't know, if you like him too. <laughs> Njide. Mm -hmm. Are you begging me to like your brother? You like him? <laughs> yes, as a family friend and nothing more. Is a lie. You like him? Let's say he's hardworking. Mm -hmm. If he channels his energy into something more positive, he will make a living. Stop playing around. You like him? Njide, mm -hmm. don't force me to say what I want to say. You like him? <laughs> I know you like him. What are you doing here? Huh? What are you doing here? Are you avoiding me? Yes, I'm avoiding you. Now, get out! But I'm not married to anyone. Besides, he does not even like me, so I have every right to enjoy myself. Yes, you can enjoy yourself, but not with me. Now, get out! Get out now! Listen, I'm going to report you to Igwe Achebe if you refuse to do it with me by the end of tomorrow. Report me to the Igwe? And yes. tell him what? That I raped you? You four people should know that the Igwe will never believe anything you say. Everybody in this village will do anything to tarnish my image and my brother's image. Now get out. Get out now! I should get out. Yes. You will regret this. I will regret you nothing. You will regret this, I promise you. Just get out. We 
would be good. No. Don't tell me you're still seeing that girl. No, I'm not. I'm not. I told her to leave. I don't want to have any business with her anymore. That's good. So, um, what were the instructions you left with the workers? I told them to clear about two plots. And okay. they'll be done this evening. Uh, this evening? Yes. You'd have insisted they get done with it by afternoon. They said they'll finish in the evening. It's a lot of work. It's all right. Um, you see women, please mind the way you relate with them. Especially that one that just left now. It is possible she should never even cross this gate again. Okay, brother, I've heard you. It's all right. Ikenga, are you going to claim you don't know the reason for this closed door meeting? Your presentation as the crown prince of Apu gets the kingdom is around the corner. And you are yet to present a woman we are going to show the elders and council as your queen. Can you explain that to me? What is going on? Father, what more do you want me to tell you? The woman I loved you gave out to a poor man. So there is no one else to present. Is it that you cannot come to terms with reality or what? This woman you are purporting to love made it clear that she does not love you. She moved on with her life. Why are you not going to look around this kingdom and choose someone else that we can present to the head as a castle? Father. I just told you that there is no one. Or you think I've gotten over Ifonaya. I have not. I still want her. I love her. I want to marry her. Is it that uh, you have actually allowed yourself to be left behind by the train of civilization or what? Why can't you move on? Why can't you understand that this is new era? We are living in jet age. People cannot be forced into marriage. Marriage is by choice. The young woman has moved on with her life and I am expecting you to move on with yours. Look around this kingdom and make a choice of the woman you are going to present or you leave me with no other option than present to Rema as your wife and the future queen of this kingdom. Well, Father, I'm sorry to say, and I mean no disrespect, that will be over my dead body. I can never get married to her. Excuse me. Oh, no, I hope you have not allowed yourself to be disturbed with this thing that he just said now, because he just exhibited that uh, mindset of a child. There is nothing that will stop him. He is going to be married to your daughter. And uh, I have already made a decision on this. And it is final. Thank you so much, Your Majesty. I'm happy now. Thank you. Eh? Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. Eh? Your Majesty. Eh? Yes. Oh, no. eh? I swear, there is nothing going on between us. But I saw her hugging you. And she was rolling her arms around your body. Yes. But what I'm saying is the truth. Please believe me. us to take a note. Yes, that is the only way my heart will be at peace. And I know that nothing can separate us. If 
with your heart to be at peace with it. Then. Tana, your pain is my pain, and your joy, my joy. In this life and in the next, nothing and no one can come between us. And my love is your love. In this life, and in the afterlife. <laughs> <laughs> All is well. Ha! All is well now. Mm. Mm -hmm. All is well. Are you helping me to pick the beans? Ha! She the one name is our work. Mm. Yeah, it's our work. All right. Hey. Your friend the former. Is she angry with me? I know. I know you are up to something. The moment you start gobbling me and helping me to pick these beans, I know you're up to something. Mm. But if you me, ask, what is the problem? Yeah, because she rejected the bush meat I gave her. Mm. It's very simple now. Yes, it's because she's not Uchechi. Hi. Oh, the way me and Chief, the way me and Chief. I thought you were done with Uchechi's matter. Why are you still bringing it up? Eh? Mm, no, sorry. I'm sorry if I make you feel bad. But it's high time you stopped uh, chasing women with bushmeat. Yes, I mean, if you like someone, you go to that person, tell the person how you feel. If you love someone, you go close to the person and tell the person how you feel. Eh? Uh, but Sunjide, you know this matter now. Nah? Eh? You know how my condition is. I don't know how to talk to them. I'm all my wasa. Eh? Oh, oh, bush my meat is my scope. Eh? Bush meat is my scope. When I give you bush meat, then I expect love in return. That's it. It's well, if I may ask, do you like my friend? Ha! Like an understatement now. I love your friend, the former. I love her back and front. I, I love her so much. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, if I'm my very good friend, if him has him, or he don't go back, mm -hmm. she does not want anything relationship. She prefers marriage. Will but she marry can, me? Do you want to marry her? Hi. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I'm not getting any younger now. I am not. Hmm. I'm not talking about your age, my brother. We're not talking about your age here. The question is, do you truly love my friend? If I am I already told you that I love her so much. I love her back and front. And mm -hmm. for her to be a friend to the family, it's enough reason to start up a marriage. Now I'm loyal to you. Two seconds, so... Eh? So... He mustn't call this way, you know. My course. Okay. Eh? No, well, if you are sure, if you are very sure that you love her, go up when we hear bush meat and do chichi. If you are very sure you love her, I will talk to her. Yes. I hey! will see what I can do. Did you want me? Did you want me? I'm going to fall alone. Trust me, now. I will talk to her. Eh, you know what? 
prefer me, me, you know, call the more who be more. You know what? Mm. I'm my bushmate. The one you caught. Yes. Yeah. What is on your mind? What is on your mind? Take it. Hey! <laughs> I'm in one of And if you attack all, you make mm. all like it is smooth. Mm. It's cheap tomorrow. Mm. Are you serious? Every single one of those. How we? You see that informa? She's yours. Consider her yours. Correct. One day more. Bush meat for me. That big one, that. Sir. Hey, why are you taking this food? My prince. Your father asked that I take food to the workers working in his farm. So you have the guts to take food from this royal home to that idiot? My prince, I will excuse this your unnecessary jealousy. Your father gave the order that any time I cook, I should take food to his workers. And that is the reason you took the biggest of the food flags in the palace. A royal food flat. Now get inside and drop it. I won't. If you have a problem with this, please, I suggest you speak to your father, the king. Excuse me. Are you walking out on me? If you are Ah, ne, ne. Where are you going? Papa, uh, 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 my, something is happening somewhere and my spirit is telling me to go there. So that, so that, oh, Papa, allow me to go. My spirit is leading me to somewhere. Ah, ne, ne. Ooh, ah, ne, ne. Papa, you are not going anywhere. You must walk in this farm today. Hey, papa, 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 I don't like this you are doing. Though. Am I a baby? Eh? Am I a baby? Allow me to go and do some, something that is better than farming. Ah, ne, ne, will you stop this your stupid act? Stop it. Stop it and walk in Papa's farm for once. Stop. See, oh. I am only listening to you because you are my sister. If not, I would have given you out for, for, for exchange. With this your curved hand. Oh, Papa! And if, if you make noise, ma'am, I will smack your teeth with this cutlass. I'm not afraid of your cutlass. Papa, allow me yeah. to go. See, see, I, I am a big boy. Allow me to go and get something better than farming. Oh, oh, this is not a farming, fa family trade line. I can be better off. Without farming. Mm. Allow me to go and do other better, better things. Nah, yeah. Yes. Oh, it's obvious he wants to escape. Allow him to go and gather more information eh? for us. Eh, we we'll eh? need it. Information. Mama, if you need eh? me, I'll leave you. They're not going to need Listen, hmm. the two of you, the two of you are idiots. Eh? Papa, oh, oh, well, keep quiet. <laughs> Papa, How much have you gotten from the information he has been getting for, 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 for you? Eh? Yeah, yeah. Stop stop supporting this Mbada to become more of a stupid boy. That's what I don't want. Stop what? calling him Mbada. I don't Mbada. like the names you're giving him. Oh, God. He's Mbada. Papa! Papa, no, 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 you make me to cry. Oh. No, 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 no. The ancestors are calling me somewhere to show me something. Oh, Papa. I'm... Anneli, if I deck you, eh? if I deck you. Papa, don't try me. Oh. Eh? My nose is the big old. Oh. Your own don't big pass. I will... My own the come on. Oh. Hmm. Bed down and start uh, uh, to walk. Okay, Anneli. Papa. Oh, yeah. What do you want me to? You want me to farm? You mm, want? Yes. You have to. You work. see the farm today? Yes. I will finish this farm. Finish it. Papa, let me farm. I will farm all the farm today. Farm, farm. I will farm. I will farm. I will not give my cassava, Vico. I will not give cassava. Okay, Papa. I will farm today. I will. <laughs> why can't you let that girl be? I mean, why are you pushing it? Must he be the one you have to get married to? As it is clear it is not working out between both of you, why can't you let her be? Who is talking about getting married to her father? So what are you talking about? She now insults me at will. You have given her so much privilege to insult me. I have not given her any privilege to insult you. 
that young woman has not insulted you. And to the best of my knowledge, she can't even insult you. But if you feel insulted, you can go. I will ask you to take a pause. Try to recall. Why is it you want to marry her in the first place? What is that? Now it's clear to me. You are so mean to your son. How? Yes. Because of her, you are this mean to me, father. I think Ukwazo's prophecy has taken place. Yes. What? I believe she has poisoned you with her father's herbs and now she controls your mind. How dare you? No, how dare you speak to me in that manner? Is it not obvious? Now you know why this young woman doesn't want to get involved with you. Because there is no love radiating from the inside of you. You see, the problem, Mikenga, is with you. It has absolutely nothing to do with that young woman. Can somebody talk to me? And what is going on? What did he do? He went away. He will cut you in the bush, trying to rape Azoka. Yes, he will. What? Your Majesty, that is not true. The accusations laid against me are false. I did not do it, Your Majesty. Please believe me. It's not true. No, 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 how? No, how? How can we be lying against you when we caught you on top of her? She was shouting. Isn't that true? Well, this is a lie. I know this young man very well. He cannot do a thing like this. Father, please, don't be too sure. Until it's proven. Um, Azoka. My prince. Did he try to rape you or not? Yes, my prince, he tried to rape me. He yes. did. And then he was a witness, he saw everything, how he tried to rape me. Uh, yes, he will. I am a witness to it. But my witness is not complete. Because I was looking at, at I was looking at him, he was on top of her, and she was screaming, all those normal drag and I guess normally too. Give it to me! Stop it, I like it! Shut up! Shut up your mouth. Father, isn't it obvious that the man you love so much is a devil pretending to be a nice man? Oh, Your Majesty, that is not true, please. I can swear before the deity if you wish so. I did not do it, Your Majesty. My prince. Igwe, my brother would never do such a thing. I think this is a frame up. We can't even go to the shrine and swear. This is a very delicate issue. Very delicate indeed. Guards, yes. lock up this young man until I decide on the way forward. Father, you've spoken well. Um, Isiaka, take him, take him. Isiaka, take him away. must you distract me from the meeting? Father, something strange is happening. Happening where? Um, the gas were flogging um, Rotanna. And they, they were both feeling the pains from the strokes of Ken at the same time. With Ifanaya. My instruction was lock them up. I never asked anybody to flog anybody. 
And now they are feeling the same pain and you are calling me. You know what? Go and call a Kwaza. Ask him to meet me in the palace immediately. The young man is innocent. Who accused him? Go and bring the maiden who says she was raped. Okay, well. Why accuse a man whom the gods have blessed? I am not treating anybody. I am saying that Rotanda raped me. He raped me, Papa. He raped me. Confess. Chai. What else do you want me to say? I'm saying that he raped me. You're telling me to confess. <laughs> You need to come with me right now. Your presence is needed somewhere. Now, please. Now? Yes. But as you can see, I'm busy. I want to take your time. It's very important. Come, you, you just come, what? please. I want you to help me repair this. I've been trying to use it. It's not working. Is that why you called me? Uh, yes, I'm sorry I did not tell you there. Because if I had told you, you would not want to come with me. And I know you're the only person that can do this. That's why I'm calling you. Sorry. Check it out. Azuka, what is it? I'm sorry, my elders, Papa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it was because I saw him with Ifunaya. He's not supposed to be with He's supposed to be with me. I saw him first. I, I fell in love with him first. He went behind to snatch him. That was why I did it. I'm sorry. Henceforth, I disown you. Explain to us why they were both feeling the same pain. They took an oath of love, a blood oath, and they did that with a branch from the ancient tree in the ancestral farm. A tree known to be the dwelling place of our ancestors. And now they are forever united as one. It's a lie. You will have to separate them. If Unaya is my wife, so you have to separate them now. Even death cannot separate them. Only the downfall of the tree can see to their death. Uh -huh. So, let's cut the tree down. Uh, if uh, any separation has cut to do with the downfall of an ancient tree, I am not a part of it. Mm -hmm. It's a good 
because it will mean revoking the gods the more. Father, are you with me or against me? I am not against his son, uh, but somehow somebody must stand for that innocent tree. Your Highness, your food is ready. Thank you very much for the information. Uh, can I... Can I have a word with you? Before that. Please, sit down. I... I want to apologize for what happened the other time in the palace. You know, it is something that is very difficult to explain. Something that is actually very unbearable. I am sorry. Your Highness, I hold no grudge against you. It's not your fault. I understand how everything happened. I only need you to understand that um, it has nothing to do with my son. He didn't plan any of that. You know, it was not his intention. He was doing what he was doing, you know, to the best of his knowledge, as somebody who was trying to win the heart of a woman. I perfectly understand that too, Your Highness. You have done so much for me. I can never hold a grudge against you or your household. And I speak for Lotana as well. Well, I am happy from my heart hearing you say that. I'm very happy indeed. There is something else I, I want, want us to talk about. But I, I don't know if I have your permission to, you know, discuss your love life. Your Highness, you have the right to ask me any question. You're like a father to me. Okay. I want to find out uh, between you and the Lutemla, have you always loved him secretly? No, Your Highness. It all started the day he saved my life. And I saw him battling to save his. It felt like a part of me was dying. Like something was leaving me. 
It was then I realized that he's my savior and I owed him my life. That night when I laid on his arms to keep him warm, I realized I never wanted to leave him again. You know, I am, I am just wondering why you didn't open up to my son. At least let him know that you are already involved with someone else. You know, it, it, it appears to me as uh, if you hid that information from him and then uh, you kept giving him the impression that something may happen, whereas you knew it, it, it was not going to amount to anything. Your Highness, that was not the case. Please, Your Highness, come and eat. Your food will get cold. It's all right. Sit down and eat with your king. I'm sorry, Your Highness. I cannot do that. Why will you say that? Listen, this is a direct request from your king. Is there anything wrong in your eating with your king? So you sit down. Sit and eat with me. Come on. Sit. Thank you. Good. <laughs> Yeah, but if it be sound. I have done what you asked me to do, but I, I, I am scared. You have done what I asked you to do, but you are scared. Yes. Why are you scared? No. Having done what I ask you to do on behalf of the family, why are you scared? Uh, Papa, I, I risk everything to fulfill your heart desire. Oh, my heart desire? Yes. Has it now become my heart desire? Have you forgotten that I single-handedly fought the battle to put you in that palace? So you can function as the chief guard to Prince Ikenga. Then what have you done from that position for the family? What have you done? Don't let me raise my voice here. But, uh, but father, not not to this extent. Eh? What if that useless Okwaza find out? Well, will you be the one to tell Okwaza? Okwaza does not know anything. He doesn't know anything that is happening because the ghost did not show him. The ghost only showed him things that has to do with the maid. And as we are speaking, we have only one maid in the palace. So forget Okwaza. Mm -hmm. uh, I put the poison very, very well, and I shook everything. Oh, Gazoya! Do you think he did not hear our discussion? Come, come, come. Go, 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 go. Never mind. We can handle it. We can handle it. Oh, Papa. What I want you to do now is to rush home. Get me two cutlasses mm -hmm. and meet me at that tree. Okay. Quickly. Also. Ah! Ah! What's going on? Ah! Ah! 
What's the problem? Guys! Guys! Tawa <laughs> I wish this boy would be at home to give us this dogma. Yes. So we can cut down this tree. Yes. <laughs> short, short. What have you done? Now who told you that this machets can cut the ancient tree? <laughs> Wisdom of a man is stupidity in the eyes of the gods. You have brought the wrath of the gods upon yourselves. If only I'm a
Okay. <laughs> no, that's not Count it. Uma, it's very nice. No, ah. <laughs> who is killing who? Mama, I'm killing him. Eh? Mama, I'm actually the one winning. It's just that <laughs> she's been cheating. Ah, but cheating? there's no cheating when it comes to love. Oh, GG, can I win? It's good to see both of you so happy. Mm. Thank you, Mama. You could have been dead, though. Mm. Oh, Chukwa Melbe, the gods didn't allow it. They saved you both. You see, I am so glad that both of you are here, finally, together. <laughs> but you know, uh, you made one terrible mistake. You see, this idea of being in love and swearing, taking oaths and saying we'll be together forever, it is a very dangerous thing. It almost costs you both your lives. Okay, let me ask you a question. What if you're not destined to end up together? You know what that means? Both of you would have died. So people shouldn't take such steps. It's totally not acceptable. Let love be natural. Let it flow. If you love somebody, you tell the person you love them and you stay faithful. That is what love is all about. Not swearing and taking oaths and, you know, building castles in the air. Please. I just hope other people out there would learn that it doesn't pay. And for your information, you people know that we're going to end up destroying that oath that you do. Some traditional things have to take place for it to be broken. Eh? We will go and do that, all right? So that you people will be free from the oath. Okay? Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, look at look at this is your uh, over here. Always yes. eating. <laughs> Mama, he has been eating since nine. morning. Nine, nine. Well, that is what Igwebike is known for. Onye ni. Come on, nigga, don't eat it. You must marry a woman that knows how to cook. Ah, of course, Mama. <laughs> she must know how to prepare dry fish very well. That's <laughs> <laughs> not a problem. Nen onye ni. How did you give the man of the house some respect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody are looking for us. 